Hey, your brains. It's me. It's Han. I'm half man, half bun. And when I'm not terribly, terribly tired, I dream for fun. I've got one thing to say to you all. Aside from, you know, the usual. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Uh, but also that I am full of soup right now. I am absolutely jam-packed full of soup. So I'm just going to undo some of the... <laughs> Some of the ties that I have on my gown here, and I'm just gonna... Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. It's pretty tight down there. I've, I've gotta say, being full of soup is not... Uh, I mean, it's a pleasant experience, it's a pleasant feeling, but man, man oh man, do I feel full. And if I did not have the discipline to stand proud and stick to my word i probably would have just canceled the stream i probably would have not just not done anything at all but here here we are here we are hello howdy i suppose i should give the queen her crown yes zoe lmp you you are crowned you are first and thank you so much for signing in uh sono wono thank you so much for the cute cute emote that you put in chat there i like that one it makes me happy this is kind of the same expression as the emote but i look more more determined here much more determined um and next up we got vortis lost thank you for so much for signing in. you know what vortis i i feel really bad i never got back to your dm uh i should do that yeah I, my apologies it's just that i've been terribly terribly busy you see for the past couple of weeks but that should change in fact my availability for the next couple of weeks is incredibly open so open in fact that i think i can return to doing daily streams which I'm sure you'll all be very happy with. At least I'll be very happy with it. Well, I'm not too happy about not having any tests to uh, provide me, you know, some play money with, uh, so to speak. Uh, nah, it's cool, don't worry about it. Um, but, you know, it's I, I do worry about these things. I'm the neurotic sort of person that, um, that just... Even after my work for the day is done, I start worrying about, like, all the things that people will think of me if I didn't, uh, get back to them or, or, or appropriately, uh, resolve the sort of task that was given to me. Even if people are like, oh, hey, hey, don't worry about it, I'm sure it's fine, everything's fine, you, you've done what you've needed to do for the hours that you've been getting tested on, it's fine, we don't need anything more out of you. I just wonder if I could have given them something more. And for you especially, I feel like I really deserve, you deserve to have more uh, advice, as I am something of a, I'm not a veteran by any means, but I've been in your position before, and I know that a vote of confidence when I needed it most would, would definitely help. Um, did you, <laughs> oh my goodness Zoe. Um, but I'm glad to hear that you have uh, gotten more optimistic. That makes me very happy to say. Uh, don't worry, I've been busy with school too. Hello. I didn't actually mean to say hello. That's okay. That's okay. I, if you're typing on like your phone or something, I know how that happens. Did you know that you're about to reach 200 followers? You just need 33 more people to follow you. 33 people is a lot. 33 people is a lot. I, I don't know if um, I'll get there anytime soon, Zoe, but I do appreciate the, the belief, the faith. I, um... A lot of the people I really enjoy there, they've got some growth that is just going absolutely nuts. It's crazy how fast they're growing. Um, but I try not to think too hard. I am, uh, I do wonder what I should be doing for a 200 follower celebration. Um, maybe something a little special. Maybe I might try and make a animation with of all you harebrains in chat right now. I would like to do that. But, uh, let me, let me reach back here and have a sip, actually. Ah. I, despite knowing better, I am again drinking Coke. I am drinking a soft drink. I, I'm gonna end up burping on stream, and that's not gonna be very good. I find it somewhat unprofessional, in fact. But some, for some people, that's their brand, burping, and uh, I don't feel like I'm one of them. But uh, hi, Han. Hi, Marcus. Hello, Marcus. It's good to see you. Howdy. Um, and Sona One, I love that emote. I, but I, I gotta say, I always thought the, the wrench on the right side of that emote was 
like her second arm and she just had a funny arm. It's not her second arm. It's actually a wrench that she just has on her back and her other arm is on the on the right side, bottom right. It's like two pixels. It's only two pixels big, but it's there. But it's cute. I like the expression she has. Um, yeah, I try to mute if I burp coffee. Yeah, I think it's rather, especially for when you're using a mic, a microphone that's as sensitive as the one that I'm using, it's incredibly important to be at least a little bit considerate of everybody that's um, watching you. I have a limiter on my audio or on my microphone that makes it so that if I speak past a certain volume, it gets um, compressed down and it won't play anything that's too loud because I do not want to break your earbuds, uh, earbuds, ear drums with my screams when I'm playing horror games. But we are we are not planning on playing in horror games today. Today is I finally have, I finally, finally, finally have a, I got the emulator working with a little bit of help of Haru Mizuki channel. Um, love that man. He is my bestie. Uh, Haru gave me some very plain, simple advice, and I think I eventually got the, um, the thing working. And I did some testing before stream. I did not actually listen to the recording that I made of my audio testing for that specific scene in OBS. So maybe I should give that a listen now and see if I need to mess with the audio at all. <laughs> all done. Oh, it does not capture any of the audio from that. That's a bit of a tr that's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. That's okay though. That is okay. I don't really want to worry too much about that for now. Um, well, actually, I should probably be worried about that because if you don't hear the game, then you can't hear any of the funny noises or any of the whoa -hoo 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 -hoo, or like that I want you to hear. So, before I do that, or maybe I should just move into the scene, the gaming scene. And then play around with it a bit until it works. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Screw it, I'll do that. I'm just gonna hop right in, Airbrains. Bear with me, please. The the Game Boy emulators have not give, been treating me very well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. When in doubt, um you know, stick your tail out? I don't I don't think that that, that no, that that's not a good one. I, I try to make rhymes, little little itty bitty rhymes that you know, can motivate you, but that one was not it. <laughs> oh no. What happened to the contract redeem? It's um it's 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 out of working order. Uh you know, the email servers are down. It's just it's not really something I can uh manage to do at the moment. I think I took it down because I was sick and I I never really brought it back, but it's okay. Just just worry, worry about it later. Worry about it later. Uh let's hop into the gaming scene. So this is the gaming scene. Uh, you don't see anything, but here I am, and if I do this, this should bring the game back, I think. I think. Eh? It should bring it back, please. Please. Oh, okay, you might have your ear ear drums blasted now, once I unpause the emulator. Please. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Here, Brains. Turn the turn the volume down. I have this turned like 27.5 decibels down. But I still think it's rather loud. Hey, do you hear anything? You should be able to hear something now. Please tell me you hear something. Because if you don't hear anything, I'm gonna be very sad. And no, you don't see anything, but that's fine. That's fine for now. The game was here a little bit ago. I don't know why it's not here now. Uh, third PT, did I even say thank you for signing in? I think I did, but if not, third PT, I was very sad to not uh, be able to catch your stream earlier, but I hope that it went well. I'm positive that it did go well. I'm disappointed. I was promised an ear blast, but all we got is mild music. Oh, come on. That's a good thing, though. You hear something very faintly? Mmm. I think it should be more than faint, because in OBS, like in the audio mixer, it seems really, really loud. Uh, and in my own ears, like I could probably put my my like headset to the uh, to the microphone. You could probably hear it there. Yeah, but um, also thanks a lot. Yeah, I I'm so happy to see you finally streaming. It was a good game pick, and I just wish that I could have been there for. But I was preoccupied with the test, so <laughs> you could probably hear the music playing over my headphones here because I'm putting my, my headphones right up to the mic. It's a uh, yeah. 
Either way. Let me try and, uh... I have to physically put my ear up to my phone to hear the game. Okay, well... I'll turn it up a bit more on OBS. I don't feel very comfortable any more than this, if we're being entirely honest. I do not feel comfortable turning it up anymore. But... We'll, we'll just have to see. Capture. Match. Um, are you sure it's not muted? I am pretty sure it's not muted because in OBS it... Oh, wait, the game just crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, why do vi Visual Boy Advance... You, you almost worked. You were almost flawless. I was almost very, very proud of you. Now, let's try that again. Okay, and does it work this time? <gasps> Let's go! Okay, there it is. Okay, I think as long as I keep the game like this, it should be fine. Fellas. Mario and Luigi. Superstar Saga. Let's go. He did it. He did it. After so much struggle, I finally got a working Game Boy Advance emulator. Okay. Um, so, maybe I should note. Uh, I don't actually... I love this game, but I don't remember a lot of it. But I remember it being a good game. Uh, a fun game. And... I'm very much looking forward to playing it. Uh, it's classic. And for, for the record, Nintendo, I do own this game. I paid for a copy of it when it came out. And yeah, screw that. Yeah, I, I own it, even though I don't know where my copy is. It's somewhere somewhere in America. Uh, maybe not in my possession, but I, I paid for it. OK, I paid for it. I own a legal copy, and even though it might be in somebody's hand, you might lower the Oh, you- Vortis! Vortis, you told me to turn it up! You skewed the sample size, you rat! Ah, but it's okay, I love you. Vortis, it's alright. Let me just turn it down a bit. And let me actually move chat somewhere where it's legible. Uh, what you say is legible. Uh, maybe above my head? That should work, right? I think that'll be alright. I'll leave it there. We'll be alright. Okay. Press start. Start is enter, and you actually get two options on the main menu here. Uh, oh geez, it looks like I cannot use my keyboard for this. Oh no, oh dear. Um, allow keyboard? Wait, configure. Hold on a second. What is up? Is it WASD? Oh my god, it is WASD. I've never seen that before. It's usually like the arrow keys on the right and then the W um, the Z and X A S keys. Interesting. Maybe I actually try using a uh, controller for this. That might be something worth trying. Okay. Let me plug this bad boy in. Been using this thing a lot for Devil May Cry 3. Okay. Connected uh, Joy controller Xbox for Windows. Okay. Why is this not working? Come on, go down. Go down. True gamer keybinds. Yeah, I, uh... That's how it used to be the default in Visual Boy Advance. I know that for a fact, because I Visual Boy Advance was the only one that I used back in the day. And... I know for a fact that I used the arrow keys then. Okay, why is this one not working? Okay, I guess you know what? No, no, no controller. No controller. We're 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 just we're gaming on WASD here. Uh, is it JK? What, what were the? God, what were the other ones? Uh, what is A? A is L and K. Then what is I and O? Okay, why is it there? L is A. Oh, right, let's do it. Okay, new game. Start game. Isn't this full of so much soul, don't you think? Like, look at it. It's so... I know it's a GBA game, and they, they had to make do with some special limitations, right? But it's so cute. It's so cute. And... Uh, this sort of pixel art, you can't get it. You can, you, they don't make them like they used to anymore. Limitation breeds creativity. Hot. Now, <laughs> yeah, they, they certainly did push themselves to the limits. I really like the GBA library. I, th I like it a lot, too. I am, um, now that I've got this working somewhat reliably, I wish to improve my uh, kingdom's ties with the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm bringing a gift from Queen Bean. Um, 
Wait, what's in the box? Oh my god! They gassed her! They gassed Peach! Oh no, what is going on with the beans? Wait, isn't it kind of messed up that they're the bean kingdom and they're making people gassy? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I also really like the GBA library. One of the other games that I wanted to play was the Pokemon Red Rescue Team, which was a bit of a failure of a stream, if we're being honest. But, um, as well as, uh, Minish Cap. Minish Cap would be very, very fun for me to play, I think. I would very much like to play that. Um, and GBA was one of the first consoles I really got into. Yeah, I mean... When you're a kid growing up in that day and age, if you didn't have a Game Boy, y you probably got bullied. And deservedly so. Did you see the Kingdom Courier? Aye, aye, aye. Okay, Toad is very upset. Mario! Let's take a look around the house. I'm sure there's something more interesting than, you know, off the beaten path a bit here. It's kind of messed up that Luigi gets the corner bed, but Mario gets, you know, the bed with space on both sides. Fire Emblem, in, Fire Emblem in Golden Sun. I've never actually played a Game Boy Fire Emblem before. I am a... I'm an Awakening baby. I only got Awakening because I was like 14 years old and Lucina made me really, really like... Uh, she awoken... She awoke something in, in me. You know, I really like the tall, flat um, architecture that she had going on. Uh, Mario? Not Mario? Mario! Mario! I don't know. Uh, it could be either. I think um, in some of the voice lines and with throughout Mario games, it's sometimes Mario and sometimes Mario. I'm not 100% uh, certain. Kaden, so good to see you. Hi. Hi, Kaden. Hello and welcome. Howdy. P -p -p Princess Peach. P -p -p Princess Peach. Oh, the, Mario doesn't even need to hear a single word aside from Peach, and he goes running, dragging his... Poor little brother along in with him. Oh no. Now what's happening here? That's Bowser. But Bowser isn't uh, trying to abduct her the way he usually is. That's a bit uh, concerning, isn't it? Attacking me when my back is turned, huh? Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward bros. Oh, he's a, he all lot. He coming. He coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get started on the, the combat system here. Very, very stylistic. I like it a lot. I mean, it's just typical RPG stuff, but look at him. He's dancing. He's got moves. And I'm honestly envious of them. I had the older consoles because new ones were too expensive. I also, like... I stuck with my consoles for a long time because I couldn't... Well, couldn't really afford much. I had Pokemon and Mario, and I'm pretty sure that those were the only games I had. And then at a certain point in my life, I had to sell all my consoles and video games to like make rent money, which was really rough. I think I've said this before, but my dad really pushed for that, and I kind of a part of me hates him for it, but I still love my father. Now, getting back onto the fighting, A to uh, select my attack, and then A to select my targets. Yeah, simple, simple. Mario's got the hops, just like me. I've got. I've also got the hops. Mario, when was your last battle? Did you already forget about your action commands? Uh, no, nah, no. Nah, I got. I got my action. Well, maybe you don't know anything about them. Me too. I don't have any of my old games anymore. It's really fucked up because those games were like worth less then than they are now, and now everybody wants fucking Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, sure, sorry, I should I should be a bit less of a foul mouth brat uh, on my own stream. I can contain myself. Um, everybody wants, like, Super Mario Sunshine. They all want, oh god, the, the, the most painful one, I think, is the disc that you got with Wind Waker that had, um, that had Ocarina of Time, or no, no, it was the Master Collection, like, Master Collection of, um, all the old Zelda games that had Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, um, Zelda 1 and 2, and then, a, like, a 15-minute demo of Wind Waker. That one hurts, like, the most. It leaves it a gaping hole in my little, little heart, but fortunately, I don't, I no longer have my, my heart from then. I have a little rabbit heart in me, so the pain is a little bit lessened, and, uh, there's always emulation, right? <laughs> There's always emulation. Ahem. Then let me explain, okay? 
first off, you have to attack. Okay, so I just attack him. And I'm gonna stomp on Bowser's little turtle head. Stop! Press the A button here. Ugh. I did a whole two damage. If you get the extra time, if you get the timing just right, you'll do extra damage. Oh, thank you, Toad. You're telling me now for the first time. I didn't know that. Every attack has its very own action command, so be sure to master them all. Okay, on with the pummeling. And bam. Okay, I think I've got the timing down for it. Mario! Hmm? I forgot something. This is really important. You can also dodge Bowser's attacks. Do you want to know how? Uh, sure, why not? It sounds pretty important, right? Okay, um, Mr. Ugly Bad Guy, could you please attack? Stop! Press the A button here! See, if you dodge attacks, you won't take damage at all. And by the way, when you think you can dodge, just look over here to be sure. Then watch closely as your foe attacks and time your dodge. Okay, on with the pummeling. Um, my old games would easily be over a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, no, I have no doubts that the investment back then is worth so much more now. And I am... I'm not doing so hot, hairbrains. Um, but... There is no getting back what's uh, been lost. It's just the way of life. When you lose something, you don't really realize what you've lost until much, much later. Uh, oh, wait, wait a second, listen. This is no time for fighting, even though I would have won. Listen to me, everyone. Something terrible has happened. The goodwill ambassador of our neighbor, the, the Bean Bean Kingdom, just paid a visit. Yeah, but it was no friendly visit. The ambassador stole Pe Princess Peach's voice. Oh. I don't know how to translate that into a, like, voice. Sorry, Peach, you're, you're, you're not getting a voice from me. I replaced it with this explosive vocabulary. Lizard, bug, um, I, mouse, mouse? Frog? Gah, if I kidnap Princess Peach in this stage, she'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super. Dot, dot, dot. Mario, please, go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it. The perpetrator came from the Bean Bean Kingdom. If you head over there, you should be able to learn more. <laughs> yes, go capture that fiend and get back Princess Peach's voice, and then I can kidnap her. We'll take my Koopa Cruiser and reach the Bean Bean Kingdom in no time. Mario! We leave immediately. Uh, bug, skull, snake, gecko, mouse. Uh, I, I didn't get any proof of that, I'm sorry. It's so hard to, to read characters that aren't actually meant to be read. <laughs> so, off an adventure yet again. I just hope your long vacation hasn't left you out of shape. Are you calling Mario Fat Toad? That's just, that's a terrible thing to say to your hero. I've never played Mario & Luigi, only Paper Mario, actually. Well, Sonowona, you're in for a good time. This is a really nice game. Uh, don't you worry your pretty little head. I will play the game for you. That's that's what I'm here to do. Okay? So, you don't gotta worry about that. I'll get as far as I can. I might even just... I might even stay up for a very, very, very long time, because in about maybe, like, three-ish hours, uh, the final episode of Attack on Titan is airing, and I'm going to be there for the anime... Uh, that changed my life. Um, I would not be here where I am right now if it were not for that show. So I best pay my respects, and I figure I'm not going to get any rest until then anyway, so I may as well be live, right? Live with my my beloved hairbrains. I, I was I was about to go in for a for a mac on on your cheek there, but I, I held myself back. It's okay. It's 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 okay. <laughs> you can stretch out and warm up here in this plaza. Oh, and I talk to everyone around here. Who knows what you might learn? Alright, so I can hop around with A, which is really nice, but also really annoying. Uh, because when I played this on the GBA, it was kind of hard to have like any sort of depth perception. So I'd do this sort of the same thing over here over and over again where I'd try and jump and I just couldn't figure out like when to jump. 
Uh, I'm not actually sure what the refresh rate on GBA screens was back in the day, but I don't imagine it could have been very high, given that technology was quite lacking back in 2003 when this released, but that's all right. That's all right. I think the native frame rate is something like 57 point... Oh, shoot. What did I find here? I didn't even know there was something here. I'm just walking around and pressing A on everything. You found something precious. Well, it didn't even say what it was, so... Uh, start, maybe? Start does nothing. Uh, what is the... Okay, I've got to find the, the key for... For... The start menu. Start is enter and select is backspace. Okay. Neither, neither of those do anything, so I guess I'm just... I guess I don't have that option yet. Lovely. Um, where, where was I going? This kind of art style is really cozy. And yeah, yeah, that's another thing. It looked great on the Game Boy Advance, of course, but it looks even cleaner and more worthwhile to play on this cute little emulator. And it's very, very precious art style. It's very comfy cozy. And uh, the music as well. It's, it's such a treat. It's such a treat. Hey! That's it. That's the precious belonging I've been looking for. Thank you. You are the best, the best. Please take this in return. You got a one-up mushroom. He just walked off? Okay. <laughs> I've heard the reason GBA games are so bright and colorful like this is to make things easy to see because there was no backlit. Oh, that would, that would make sense, wouldn't it? They do, um, Nintendo games especially, like this one and uh, the Pokemon game that I was playing earlier. The Pokemon game had a very distinctly bright color palette that I don't really see used very often. I mean, you can try and mimic it, but it definitely had a certain aim in making things brighter for, uh, for players that didn't have the backlight. Uh, at least the Game Boy Advance uh, SP had the backlight screen, but the Game Boy Advance that was like a rectangle did not have that one. Oh, Mario. Your mustache looks so silky smooth today. Show me that super jump. Oh, that was so awesome. Mario, you're the only one in the whole world who can jump like that. You rule. You rule, Mario. <laughs> uh, the Toads really love this guy, even though I'm pretty sure he stomps, or he eats Toad, or Toad Caps, don't, doesn't he? So doesn't he, like, eat their heads? Kind of messed up if you think about it. Uh, what's happening here? What, what does this guy say? So you go into the Bean Bean Kingdom. That's quite a journey. Do you want to learn about action icons before you go? Uh, sure, I've never even heard about these things. Oh, the backlight was so revolutionary, haha. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm pretty sure I never had. well, I, I didn't have the original, um, Game Boy Advance, I don't think. But I did have the Game Boy Advance SP. I'm pretty sure I had a red one. I think I had a red one. Um... It was that distinct, like, slightly dark red color, maybe. I, I... Or maybe it was a silver one. I can't remember. All I remember is that the, the... The the bumper keys, the bumper buttons, got really sticky, and I couldn't use them past a certain point, and it was really annoying for Pokemon Red Rescue Team, where I needed those bumper key... Um, the triggers uh, to play it more effectively. Either way. Do you want to learn about action icons before you go? Sure, why not? Haha. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Action icons are symbols that show you what actions you can perform at any given time. If you press the A button when this icon is showing, you'll jump. Boing! You're good at that, right? Stand in front of, in front of someone and press the A button when this icon appears to speak. And when this icon appears, press the A button to do a little investigating. You'll see this icon when you stand near signs and things. Keep an eye out for it. So that's the fast and dirty explanation. Want to hear it again? I do absolutely do not want to hear you speak ever again. Haha. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Get the hell out of my... I'm never voice acting like that ever again. We found a mushroom. Oh, wow. My mushroom. You got it for me. Is for me? Is... Is for me? Is for me? Um... Uh, of course. Of course. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. But, say, you're going to the Bean Bean Kingdom soon, huh? You'd better keep it then. Aw, this toad's very nice. And please, take this away as a going away gift. I insist. What's he giving me? Another mushroom? I, I, oh, geez, Mary. How come your your toadstool fella lets you have two mushrooms? I got no mushrooms. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I had anything mushroom-based. 
Oh, and good luck in, with stuff over there at the Bing Bing Kingdom. Uh, there is this one last thing here. I think then after that we can go. We got a mushroom. So no one's surprised there's a lot of mushrooms in the Mushroom Kingdom. Who would have thought, right? Uh, what does this fellow have to say? I'm pretty sure he's just late. Oh dear, ah, trouble. I've gotten separated from the bowels of baddies. Oh, you, the baddies are not something you want to be separated from, fella. You gotta go chase those baddies. Um, listen, do you know where the Lord Bowser has gone? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Great, which way did he go? Uh, I'm pretty sure he has to go up, so I'm gonna send him that way. Oh, okay, thanks. It's almost time to assemble, and boy, I can't miss that. I've gotta hurry. And he's off. Fast as a bullet, that one. Okay. Now, how do I get up here? Oh, my brother's up there. Luigi! Luigi! Actually, I should check the sun before I hop up there. Kingdom Courier, Volume 1. Royal Speech Bombs. Villain who stole the lovely voice of the princess has fled to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Mario has reportedly been tapped for the rescue mission. As per usual, Luigi will stay home. Will stay home to guard the home front? Oh, I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think that's going to be the case. But it is a, a bit of intrigue. Is Luigi going to stay home to guard the home front? Oh, he is, he is excited. He is, he is jumping faster than I can even hope to jump. Look at that man. He has so much energy in him. All right, Luigi. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you. I'll speak with you. What, do you got? what have you got to say, Luigi? I have no idea what he's trying to say to me. Okay, he's yes, this Bowser is that way. I think is what he's trying to say. You know, buddy, bow. The voices they give Mario and Luigi in place of you know actual dialogue is 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 pretty good. It's pretty good. Mushrooms taste good. I had mushrooms on my French dip last night. I would kill for a French dip, but um, today I had a beef noodle soup. And I was quite happy with it. I was quite happy with it. Saving, do not turn the power off or remove the game pack. And is it done? Oh, there we go. We got a stamp. That means it's good. That means it's very, very good. All right. Let's see here. Is Luigi, Luigi is still following me. What is it? Does he have anything to say? Oh, Luigi. Oh, my brother. I I don't want to have to leave him behind. He's so nice. He's just he's my my big is he my big bro or my little bro? I don't actually know. What's the what's the Super Mario lore here? Is uh is Luigi the big brother or the older or the younger brother? I think he could be a very good big brother. If he's like uh the Virgil and I'm the Dante, then Virgil is the older brother. And, uh, Mario, or Dante, would be the younger brother. I think Mario is older? Oh, jeez. Huh. Poor Luigi. Gets the short end of the stick all the time. At least, well, I think if I think about it, I prefer Daisy to, um, to Peach. Myself. Yeah, so, I recently returned a a from a really nice trip to the Bing Bing Kingdom. Ah, uh, Hoo Hoo Mountain, Oho Ocean, Chucklehuck Valley, Teehee Woods. Wait, no, it's Chucklehuck Woods and Teehee Valley. My my mistake, Hairbrains. I, I miss I misread. I misread. So much to see. I've re I recorded all my travels in my save album. Oh, and that's the thing that we knocked our heads on over here. The save album. It's meant to be a photo album or like some sort of stamper passport thing. I think. Wait, does Lu Luigi moves up with me? Look, he he moves up with me, but he doesn't move down with me. He must be very concerned why I'm moving backwards instead of moving forward. Bowser's Koopa Cruiser is parked just up ahead. Ooh, that is one mean machine, boy. Anyway, it's time you were on your way. Head in that direction once you're ready, okay? But, uh, rushing headfirst into trouble like you always do is crazy, so be sure to save with that save album. Oh, they, they are really hammering it in that I needed to save. This was the first thing I did, okay? I'm a gamer. I know anytime you see a save, uh, save menu, hit that. Hit, hit it without regret. Luigi is no coward. Luigi only moves onwards. <laughs> I love that third. I love that a lot. Yeah, Luigi just keeps on moving forward uh, to destroy his enemies. Except he's saying bye-bye to me so I can destroy his enemies for him. That's fine. That's fine. I'll do it. Master Mario! It 
it would appear I'm just in time. Oh, is this how I get my freaking um? Is this how I get my start menu? <laughs> Please tell me this is how I get my start menu. I prepared a suitcase for you to take with you on your long journey. I'm quite sure it will prove useful as it holds many items and outfits. Please take it. You got a suitcase. These things are pretty, pretty useful. Just press select to open your suitcase and check the menu screen. Then you can use any items you found on your journey or even change your clothes. It's also a good idea to use that screen to double check your personal status. Once you board the Koopa Cruiser, you can take your time and look through it. Now then, I have one more parting gift as a war. Some funds for your trip. Here you go. You got 100 coins. I don't know how much that is, but I hope it's enough to, to get me through my journey here. Oh gracious, Master Luigi, are you going to the Bean Bean Kingdom as well? Oh, Luigi says no, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Luigi. Bye-bye. Ah, you're just seeing Master Mario off. A capital idea. I do believe I'll join you. Master Mario, I'm going on ahead. I shall be waiting for you in front of the Koopa Cruiser. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is really taking me back. Although I must say, it's taking me a lot longer to get through this first section than it would if I were just playing on my own, but I'm happy to read out every last bit of dialogue for you folks. Can I actually access the suitcase now? Oh, I can't. I have to wait until I'm on the Koopa Cruiser. Okay, no worries there. Um, this guy looks downright neurotic. Does he have anything to say to me? Where the heck is everybody? Mario! We are late! What were you doing? We're leaving right now, so get on board and make it snappy. Dang, Mario can jump far. <laughs> well, so, what do you think? Incredible, isn't it? This is my newest weapon, the Koopa Cruiser. Hmm, yes, very good. Now all I need are my baddies. That word has taken a very different turn, uh, meaning in in the 20 years that this game has been, uh, you know, released for. Bowser baddies! Assemble! Oh, bye-bye, Luigi. Bye-bye. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Wait, they're not listening to him. They're not listening to him. What the heck? Gah! Where are they? Huh? Huh? What in green blazes? Hey, you! Are you signing up to join my crew of Bowser baddies? I see, I see. You want me to bring you along that badly, huh? Luigi has no clue. Luigi is clueless. There's one brain cell going on and firing off in Luigi's brain. Yes, you! Wait, no, I can kind of do the thing that Luigi does. Wait, no, I can't actually. Okay, I'm sorry for getting your hopes up. Oh, that's rich. Don't be modest, Mr. Green. I mean, you look like a real pain, but I'll take you anyway. Uh, did, you, did you guys hear that? Mauser's gonna take Luigi. <laughs> your, no, your, your gnarliness! The baddies have just arrived. Hey, the assembly area is over here, you blithering idiots. Oh my god, they really are assembling. Oh, oh my god, that's a whole squad. <laughs> All baddies have assembled. We shall now begin boarding the Koopa Cruiser. Wahaha, good. Then we can depart, and with an increased headcount too. Excellent. Your filthiness boarding is now complete. Except for one deserter. What? Move it, you idiots! Initiate cruiser pursuit! Oh, Mario is having a freaking scare right now. <laughs> oh no, Luigi! Luigi, no! Run, Luigi! <laughs> Uh, I don't think uh, Luigi's gonna make it, bros. The sky's above Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, you! Down there in the ship's belly, Mario and what's your name? Green guy! 
Bing bing. Mario and Mr. Green Mario Brother Guy, look alive down there, will you two? We're about to arrive in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Press select to open your suitcase, arrange your stuff, and get ready to roll. And then report to the deck. Pronto. Bing bing, bing bing. I like how uh, Mario and Luigi can just communicate entirely in bings. Oh, that's why I have a B button to use uh, Luigi with. He jumps on B and Mario jumps on A. Okay, sweet. Luigi deserves more love. I will love Luigi till the end of days. You know what else, actually? We were speaking about the video games that I had to give up to make rent money with, right? The, uh, one of the games that I very much cherished, uh, cherished as a child that I had to give up was Luigi's Mansion and... Looking at how the prices of that game are now, I'm not uh, too confident I'll ever own it again. But we'll we'll, we'll just we'll live. It's not gonna kill me. Uh, little little younger Han had plenty of time to to enjoy it. Although I never think I, I never don't think I ever beat it. <laughs> I don't think I ever beat it. It's hard for little children to beat games meant for little children. Okay, don't judge me. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, select to open up my suitcase here. Oh my God, this is taking me back so fast. Taking me back so far. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is... Oh, they've got the work... Oh my god. they got the cute little icons too. Holy moly. It's been so long since I've seen this. It's been so long. I love it though. I really do. This is nice. Uh, is there... Do I have the start menu now? Oh no. Start um, is used to swap between Mario and Luigi on, on primary. Cool. Can, so what does Mario do that Luigi can't? Why would you? Why would I ever want to swap between these two? I guess I'm. I'm sure I'll find out pretty soon, anyways. But um, I will do one thing. I'm gonna have a sippy sip because I'm thirsty, and then after that, I'm gonna get on my knees because my back is starting to hurt. I love Coke so much. All right. Uh, it's time for me to kneel. It's time for this hair to kneel. <laughs> Fellas, if you were ever... Oh god, I don't think you can hear me very well now, but... If you were ever considering streaming, I highly recommend against streaming from your kitchen table. It's not very fun. It's not very good. He's on his knees for us. How dedicated. I'm on my knees practically every damn day. Every time I want a game with my friends, every time I want a game for harebrains, uh, I'm typically going to either be sitting down in a table chair and then I decide, oh man, my back cannot take a single second more of this. And then I start kneeling. Um, I will kneel on both knees for a little bit and then I will kneel on one knee for a little bit and then I'll swap to the other knee and then I'll probably go back on both knees. It's a, it's a bit of a cycle. Keeps me slightly active, but not too active. Oh, oh, wait, here, here comes the burp that I've got to mute for. Okay, we're good. We're all good. Holy moly, uh, Seiza. Seiza, yes, it is the Seiza. I, I like that. It's a very formal and very respectable position to be in. I love art where, like, samurai are sitting in the Seiza position with their swords by their sides. It's very... Meditative. It's a good position position to sit in, but it's not actually quite uh, Seiza because I'm not relaxed like that. I think I'm. It's like a fake Seiza, you know. Yeah. So you may not know this, but we Bowser baddies recently added a new member. Yep, he's in training until we land in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Oh, do I get different dialogue depending on who talks? That's so cool. Oh wait, no. Never mind. It doesn't really matter. Wait, they say they say things. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, that's so cute. I love them. They're just little brothers. I wish I had a brother. <laughs> uh, I I probably would have benefited from a brother sometime in my life. Um, ready? Press start. To switch positions between front and back. Oh yeah. Press start to switch positions between front and back. What are these guys going to say for me? 
Ready? The A button controls the lead guy. The B con button controls the guy in the back. Oh yeah. The A button controls the... <laughs> okay, they're just... They're silly little guys here. All of them. All of them are silly little guys, but that's okay. Uh, I like to need... Let's a go! Let's a go! Let's a go go! I like to kneel on the stools by our kitchen island. Wait, you can kneel on those? That seems a bit difficult. Huh? Eh? What? How? Explain, Vortis. Explain. I don't understand. Um, it would have been cool to have a little sibling. I think so as well. Maybe earlier on in life when I could have probably more appreciated it and not when I'm like older and that uh, old enough to, you know, practically be a father at this point. Uh, so I put my knees on the seat. Huh. I can't honestly picture that very well, if I'm, if I'm being entirely honest with you, but I will take your word for it, and, uh, I'll try and, I'll try and envision it, but I can't say that I understand it fully. I will be honest, I do not understand it fully, because every single, and lean forward over the counter, huh. I, to me, that seems very anxiety-inducing, because I feel like the, the stools will, like, tip over, and then I'll just fall fall over like 15 feet off of a stool it's a it's a very frightening idea to me losing balance that high up you see vortis i'm pretty sure you you are a bigger guy than i am so you it's like relatively like less distance for you to fall from but for me i'm just a little guy that's like falling off a sc skyscraper okay <laughs> um what are these guys gonna say Ready? If you see a bros block, make sure you hit the block that matches your color. If you hit the block that matches your color, the block will move sideways. If you hit the block that matches your color, the block will move sideways. Oh shoot, do it move sideways? Oh, it do move sideways. Okay, hold on, how do I... Oh heck, no! No! I lost the opportunity! Ah, heck. Heck, I missed it. You're not too much smaller than I am, haha. Huh? Well, I'm still smaller, okay? Well, just learn to live with it. Enjoy enjoy your, your status as a giant relative to myself. What's happening here? Oh, I think I take a picture, don't I? I'm busy taking pictures. Don't talk to me right now. Can I can I sit here and get my picture taken or not? Is that just not a bit something I can do? Okay, screw it. Hey there! What, what, wait, he's calling me back after I decided I didn't want my picture taken? Yeah, you two mustache dudes. You're about to enter the Bean Bean Kingdom, so you have your passports with you, right? Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Hmm? Well, it looks like you've got a suitcase there. Tell you what, go ahead and press select to open your suitcase, okay? Okay. Why, you've got them right here. These are your passports. Uh, what's he doing? Oh, he's taking a look at the, the photographs that are not there. I see, I see. But, hey, there aren't any photos. These won't get you into the Bean Bean Kingdom. No, sir, no way, no how. <laughs> yeah, these animations really are great. Look at that. Look at that. They're so cute. They're so cute. Don't wig, out. Don't wig out about it, though. If we take your pictures here, you should be just fine. Since the great Bowser has called you two to the deck, I'll let you two cut the line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Stamping photos is easy. Just stand on that map there. See it? Right there. Uh. Step on the map once you're ready. No hurry. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. Now, Mr. Greenstash, you step back. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Oops, I forgot to tell you. Listen, when you're getting your picture taken, stand still. Don't go pressing up, down, left, or right on the control pad to, to hold a pose. And away we go. Ready? Oh, wait, I got some... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! No! <laughs> wait! What? Wait! Oh no! 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 Press start to move to the front of the line. Then just stand on on the mat. Got it? Oh! You already took your fair photo, Mario. Duh! This guy's mean. Okie dokie. Hey, I'm not done taking your picture yet, Mr. Twitchy. 
All right. Okay, Mario, you step back. Nice and easy. Everybody knows Mario's name, but nobody knows Luigi's name. Ready? Oh, fuck. No. No. I didn't get to do a funny little pose with Luigi. Now Mario's the only one that looks goofy. Heck. Heck. Great. I've taken passport photos for both of you. Are we all happy now? Happy all around. Oh, uh, where's my... I'm afraid to look at my passport. Honestly, let's, this is going to be a nightmare. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> One of us is a bit more presentable than the other. Uh, and it is not the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, I must say. <laughs> no, but it's fine. It's fine. It's just going to be something I have to look at every single time I open my... Open my, um menu for the entire duration of this game. Luigi is a serious and respectable man. Yeah, Luigi follows the rules. Poor guy. I, I really did want to see what funny poses I could make with him, though. I really do. Ah, look at this. Free mushroom. We love free mushrooms. If you find a mushroom lying around in the cargo deck of your ship, uh, peel it off of the uh, box or whatever it's on and uh, eat it. It's sure to bring you good, good fortune. Oh man, mushrooms everywhere, all over the ship. Y y that's how you know their safety standards are high. They s they care about your health, so that's why they want you to eat all the mushrooms that you find lying around. <laughs> hmm, that goes there, and this goes here. Working the hold isn't easy, and if you mess up, you have to start all over again. <gasps> oh, Mario, it's me, that lost guy. Hmm? Who's he talking about? Hey, thanks for telling me which way to go back in the Mushroom Kingdom. I was kind of panicking. But thanks to you, I was the first one to board the Koopa Cruiser. Here, let me give you this. Oh my god, that's a whole ass one-up mushroom. Thank you, sir. It's nice to be nice. Oh, I like that line. It's nice to be nice. It's nice to be nice. Oh, that wasn't meant to be, uh, all caps. Uh, I think I just had caps lock on accidentally. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyways, 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 let's keep going. It sure is nice to be nice. Remember that, hair brains. It is nice to be nice. Ooh. I gotta say, it hits better when all, in all caps. I'm glad you, you feel that way, third. I, I'm glad you feel that way. So, so much soul, so much soul in these cute little GBA animations. Hey, watch it, you clumsy oafs. Don't go breaking the great Bowser's cargo. It's important stuff. potato. The deck? The deck's just up ahead. Uh, but before you go there, I need to make sure you won't slow Lord Bowser down. So... I'll teach you how to fight as a pair. Uh, you know what? I, I love being educated. Please educate me. Educate me right now. Then go have a look at that barrel over there. But remember, you're about to face the best of Bowser's most elite troops, so prepare yourselves. Uh, it looks like I have no other options aside from inspecting this funny little barrel, so you know what I'm gonna do? Wait, barrel. 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 Why does that ring a bell? Why does the... Phrase barrel. Why does the phrase barrel ring a bell? I don't know. If, I don't know hair brands. Hmm. Is it some? I think barrels are stinky, aren't they? Stinky and nerdy, like a nerd emoji. Dorks, even. But anyways, moving on. Let's take a look at this barrel. Oh man, it stinks. Oh man. No, oh, what is that smell? Want to break the barrel? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that one. Oh man, it's a it's a anthropomorphized mushroom, or a mushroom that has somehow gained sentience. They really go crazy on this ship here. Might be my internet, but I'm getting some lag. Uh, it might be your internet. I have no dropped frames, and my stream health seems to be green, so I'm not entirely certain. Um, actually, that does bring to mind one question. I should probably take a look at here. Uh, where is? my settings my output 
my video bitrate is 6,000 kilobytes per second. Now, is that okay? I, I, do I need to raise that by any anything at all? 6,000 kilobytes per second? I have no clue. I, I genuinely, like, I don't know. I do not know. I will worry about that later. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably take, like, a screenshot of, um... Of the game and like post it on Twitter and say that I'm live with it because that that's pretty important, isn't it? <laughs> let the, let the folks know that I'm up and uh, about. I uh, know I'll do that. Hold on, it's a bit of a it's a bit late, but I will do that now because I think this is a pretty good scene to take a screenshot of. Hold on, uh, screenshot preview. I think that's the one that works. Okay. Go to Twitter. Oh, here, here we go. Uh, fan underscore underscore bun underscore. That's me. There we go. All good now. Everything is fine for me. I hope so, Vortis. I, I really do hope so. Now, God, this music is so nice. Bum, 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 bum. The sound fonts that they had for, for GBA games was something special. It really was. Now let's keep on going. Let me show you how to dodge. Mario uses the A button in green. Well, for frick's sake, why does nobody know Luigi's name yet? They're gonna they're gonna put some respect to Luigi's name by the end of this game, so help me God. They better learn to respect Luigi. God dang it. Just jump the dodge. Now then, little baddies, attack Mario! Attack! Halt! Press the A button here. Next, attack Mr. Lean Green. Halt! Press the B button now. Holy moly, I landed on his head. Luigi can do some damage, too. Depending on how you time your jump, you might not only dodge, but counterattack as well. The thing is, though, there are some attacks, like Bowser's Flame, that you can't counter. Alrighty then, practice up. Oh, whoops, I almost forgot. You attack the same way as when there's only one of you. Except Mr. Leaning Green uses the B button for his attack command. Press the B button when you want to jump on an enemy. Now you can practice up. You can't see it. Maybe one day you'll see it. Because I will be swaying to the tune. Uh, if I ever get a live 2D model. But God dang, does this music go... It, it, uh, I hate using zoomer terminology, but it slaps. It slaps. And I, to this day, I can still hear it in my head playing right off of my Game Boy Advance. I've got to say, I'm going to have to go really quickly because uh, I don't think it's been too too terribly long, but it has been an hour. So ads are going to start playing really soon. So I'm just going to take a short break, but I'm going to leave you with the screen for while well, I take that like five minute break because I do need to go really quickly. But I, I love this music. I'll be right back here, Brains, I promise. Uh, I'll be right back. I love you.
Uh. <clears throat> Bad news, uh, I went overtime on the break. I apologize for that. <laughs> good news is that, um, good news is that you guys have now received the, the authentic Mario Superstar Saga experience of hearing this song nonstop for a good 10 minutes. Uh, that's what this game is all about, really. It's about listening to this dang song for hours on end while you play this RPG. Welcome into uh, Rua Ua Kulta who has just joined us. Hello, Hanbun. Hello, Rua Ua Kilta. It's good to see you. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Bun. I've been grooving. I'm glad you've been grooving. But I'm gonna end the grooving now, if I can. Because you've been on here for far, far too long. Oh, shoot, I let, I let Luigi take the hit for me. No, 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 that's no good. That's no good. We gotta take care of our little brother. It's, my, it's our duty as the elder to make, ensure that our brother's safety is uh, guaranteed. This one too. The end, the end, the victory theme. It's so good. How's you, Hanbun? Um, I've got to say, um, oh, here, here's, here's a funny way of explaining it. Uh, in this country, I've noticed that they take their coffees quite late. They, they, it's acceptable to, to be drink coffee uh, Past, past even 8 p.m., I think. It's crazy. It's out of this world. It's ludicrous. Two shots of espresso at, like, 7.30. And uh, when I was offered a complimentary drink from a restaurant that I was a bit of a regular at, um, I took it without hesitation. I just had to figure out what to order. I just had a latte. I, I just always get a latte. It's nice. I like lattes quite a bit. So I had a latte, and you know how that goes. You, you know how the story goes. And that's why I was away for for a short period of time. <laughs> uh, you know how that... Yeah, anyways, moving on. Moving on. How do I how do I handle this barrel? Stinky barrel. Want to break the barrel? I sure do. I sure do. Goomba. Goomba stomp. Okie dokie. And, you know, as with any RPG, you... The encounter theme is something you get very well acquainted with. Oh no, I, I got him. He took more damage. That's no good. Why do they keep on targeting Luigi? Why don't they target Mario? Oh man, so good. <gasps> Wait, does Mario level up? He does! Level up to level two. He gets not a lot, but he gets a little bit of speed. So that's nice for Mario. We like that for him. A bonus. Wait, what is this? Oh! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Bonus HP. Is that something that, that I can assign? I should have checked and see if I could, um... Could have moved it up or down. Luigi's the tank, Mario does DPS. I see. Is that actual tr true fact, third? You're not leading me astray with this message of yours? Because I, I couldn't tell you if that's the honest to god truth or not. I haven't touched this game and... When I did touch... I haven't touched this game in a long time and when I did touch this game I did not, uh really pay much attention to anything aside from the music and the very rather linear story. I have no clue. I never played it. That's okay. That's okay. Let's pretend I've never played this either. Maybe it'll be even better if I have, if I've never played it. I, I, well, I don't have a lot of memories with, um, regarding this one. I remember there's a big room with boxes a little bit later on, but I think Luigi does have more HP. I think that might change, but you are correct for now. Once Luigi levels up, well, Mario's leveled up now, now he has more HP than Luigi. But once uh, Luigi levels up, I think it really is just a matter of the stats spreading certain ways. Oh well. Oh, oh, barf. It's too quick. I can't catch it. And I have to get ready for Bean Bean immigration. Oh. Oh, it's Mario and Mr. Greeny. Can you two help me out? I'll teach you something important about going into battle in the process. No charge. All right, so he's coming this way. Uh...
Hanbun is now unlocked again. It's okay. It's okay. We attack. We stomp. Luigi stomp. It's over. The fight is over. We've won. Oh, and now Luigi levels up. Okay. What's he gonna do? HP plus one, two. Okay. So let me see if I can... Wait, there's a stash? There's a stash stat. That's hilarious. I didn't even notice that earlier. Okay. Is, can I assign where I want the bonus to go? Oh, I can. Oh, I can put a bonus on a stash if I wanted. I don't know what that does. I feel like that's kind of a troll move if I do it, though. So I'm gonna... Instead, just max out. Ooh, man. What if I made Luigi powerful? What if I just put all of Luigi's points into power? I think that'd be nuts. Let's do it. Get the three, get the three. No, it's a one. <laughs> Only one extra bonus point. Damn, that kind of blows, actually. Losing out on points that I could have had because I low rolled it. It's pretty sad. Ooh, thanks. Speaking of sweet buns, I'm having cinnamon buns in a bit. Always a nice weekend treat. Oh, that sounds really nice, actually. I, I like, um, not quite making your own cinnamon buns at home, but I'm quite fond of, uh, back in America, we have these, like, Pillsbur Pillsbury, uh, like, cans? They're not quite cans, because they're not solid tin all the way around, but they're, like, canisters, paper can- uh, like, card canisters that are kept in the refrigerator section, uh, refrigerated section? And they have cinnamon, like pre, like cinnamon dough, cinnamon bun dough inside of them. So all you have to do is pop open the canister, unpack the cinnamon buns, and then you put them in your oven and you cook them. And it's really nice. It's really nice. It's a really simple, easy treat. Somehow I always manage to mess them up a little bit. Sometimes they'd be a little bit too burnt, or uh, sometimes they'd be a little bit undercooked. But still, I enjoyed it. And they're relatively cheap as well. Hey, can you get that other guy? Uh, sure thing. In fact, I'll swap over to, uh, Luigi. Since he is so powerful now. Let's get him. Let's-a go! Holy moly, Luigi can do some damage. Alright, solo. Let's go. Stomp. BB, stomp. Easy, easy peasy for Luigi and Mario. Mario and Luigi. Easy peasy for Mario and Luigi. That sounds really good right now. Heading into winter, I want all the cozy food. I'm heading into summer. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be- I'm gonna be burning up. You know, all I wear... ever... is shorts and my hospital gown. But I think even if I take off my hospital gown, I'll still be burning up in winter. Or summer. We're gonna see. Uh, it'll be my first time ever having a hot summer- or a hot, um, Christmas. But, uh... It'll be an experience, for, that's for sure. What's in this box here? Nothing? Well, I got one thing to say about barrels. They are all so stinky. They are all so stinky. Stinky, stinky barrels. Hey, according to the book Bean Bean Vacations, you can save your travels by hitting that album there. Yeah, like, I didn't already know that. They, they, they're they really hammering in to, like, little five-year-old children's heads that you can save at this save book here. I guess that if they didn't get the mes message the first two times, they, they, they're gonna get it now, right? At least you would hope so. You would hope so. Um, barrel slander. Look, barrel. Barrel. Can't say anything bad about barrel. Barrel's a good. Barrel's a good boy. I. I just wish. I wish. I wish it's, his stomach wouldn't hurt. His tummy wouldn't hurt. Hurt so much, you know. Gamers don't save. Gamers go all in. Yeah, I can get away. I can get away through without saving at all. In this, I just use a save state for the emulator. Smile. Now, does this guy have anything to say to me? Huh? What? Hey, who did this? Who put cargo in this area? How are you supposed to get uh, to the deck with this in the way? I, I don't know how we'll get to the deck. In that block there activates the pinch crane. I like to call it Mr. Pinch. Don't ask me why. In case it's not really obvious, you should be able to use the old Mr. Pinch to move that cargo. Ah, so this whole uh, ship's section is nothing more than an extended tutorial. Lovely. Let's whack that. All right. Watch Mr. Pinch go. Wait, no, Luigi, Luigi, no, run, Luigi, no, no, Luigi. Uh oh, looks like the crane mistook you for cargo. That looks uncomfortable. Hey, since you're up there, why don't we use you as a lookout? 
Luigi. Luigi. Oh, and he's held up by, the, by his pants. Oh, that's so... Not even his pants, his uh, overalls. Yeah, yeah, yikes. Your rancidness. We will soon pass over the border between the Mushroom Kingdom and the Bean Bean Kingdom. <laughs> nice work. You can go back below decks. Now. Poor Luigi is right. Wait, what is he... <laughs> He's doing the booba emote. Uh, hey, what's with all the hoopla? Uh? Oh, he stomped on Bowser. <laughs> Rawr. What now? Oh, no. <laughs> Who would have thought you'd catch up to the great Kekota in even a hundred million years? You! You're the fiend who stole Peach's voice. How dare you pull off such a cool, evil plan! <laughs> oh, I dare! And now I'm going straight back to the Mean Mean Kingdom so my next plan can take root! I have no time to chat with the likes of you! Awful! Take care of this! I've got to say that that fella has a has a jetpack that's attached to nothing but his skull cranium. Not even in, like his skull, it's his cranium. It's holding him up by the size of his massive freaking forehead. <laughs> and that's hilarious. I am the great Kakalette's most best pupil, who's named Fawful. I am here laughing at you. If you are giving us the chase just to get your silly princess's voice, then you are idiots of foolishness. Princess Peach's sweet voice will soon be the bread that makes the sandwich of Kekoleta's desires. And this battle shall be the delicious mustard on that bread. The mustard of your doom. Oh god, Bowser just got blasted the frick out of here. Oh no, he got BTFO. <laughs> um, oh, he's behind us. He <laughs> Next, it is the turn of you. Let's go. All right, Hairbrains, place your bets. Do we win this fight? Do we win this fight? Bowser's dead. Yeah, he sure is dead. He's down for the count. Also, hello, Billy the Bucket. Hello and welcome. It's good to see you. Howdy. Awful. Let's see if I can do any damage to this guy. Such a cute streamer. Such a cute viewer. Um, Yeah, no, it's going to be easy third. It's going to be easy. Watch this. Two whole damage. Two whole damage. That's a, that's a lot of damage. I don't know about you, but if I had to take two whole damage from Mario and Luigi, each individually, um, I feel like I'd just get knocked the heck out. And not cute? You sure are, Billy. You, you are a very uh, reliably cute viewer. And again, another two damage. Think rat! Oh shoot! Wait, no, I had to dodge that with Mario instead of Luigi. <laughs> Bonk. And... Bonk. Oh. Grr. Wait, he's just exiting stage left? Wait, no, he's coming the up. Wait, how did he teleport behind me? Hey, want to dodge this nuts attacks? Yes. Before he attacks, watch what he says really carefully. Such, such mumbling. Stop it. Think rat. When the stuff this nut says is red. He's attacking you, Mario! All enemies have a hint in their attacks, so keep your eyes on them. Pink Rat! Oh, he's right. That one was green and it went to Luigi, so... Thank you for that, Bowser. I never expected my worst enemy to, to give me a help, uh, helping tip like that, but you sure did. Thank you, Bowser. You're such a treat. You're such a dear. And bonk. Have you readiness for this? I sure do. Oh god! What the heck? He alternated. That's not fair. Do I have any funny items that I can use? Uh... Not quite. He's so hot. Who is? Mr. Uh, Fawful? I wouldn't say he's very hot. I think he's a bit of a gremlin, but if he's if he's to your taste, Billy the Bucket, you're um, more than free to have him. Please redirect the following in the redeem at Billy the Bucket. <laughs> Sure thing, third. Your wish is my command. Billy in the Bucket, you're an incredibly cute viewer, and I'm happy to see you in all my friends' chats. Where you're still just as cute. Uh, no Bowser. Bowser is hot? Well, he's also knocked out, so if that's your thing, that's your thing, but... I feel like I'd rather have their, them be conscious and aware to get their consent. Awful. Bang! 
and Ouija. All right, who's gonna hit next? Have you readiness for this? Bing, bong. Look at that, look at that hair brains. We're so coordinated. We've got this in the bag. There's no way we lose this now. Lose this now. Oof, oh, he's on the ground. He's on our level now. He's on our level now. And bing. His cranium is exposed to the entire world. Now is when I ram you. Okay, we can counter that too, sweet. Have, is this, have we broken past the 50% barrier of his HP bar? Is this his secret Dark Souls, like, the second phase? Because it's not really as intimidating as uh, one of those. Well, I wouldn't expect it to be. It is, after all, a Game Boy game. He's doing it. We're doing it, Hairbrains. We're doing it. Okay. I think he's pretty much done. Ugh. Who could think rats like you beat such an awful nasty as me? I never... <laughs> Wait a minute, who would ever describe themselves as an awful nasty with a smile on their face like that? That's questionable. Am I eepy now? If you're eepy, Billy, go to go to get some rest. It's probably really late for you. Headgear? Oh, he's got a he's got a replacement? He's like Diva calling in her next robot to harass the enemy Overwatch team. I have Yuri. Oh wait, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, Oh, it's one of those win the, winning the fight, but losing the cutscene things, I think. Ah, now is when the talking stops. I do not have time to stop and smell foul roses such as you. Oh, Mog, hello and welcome. Love these games. I love these games too. Hello and so good to see you. I'm happy that you're here to enjoy it with me. Thank you, thank you. One fell swoop is the way I will deal with you, think rats. What? <laughs> oh no, Bowser's Bowser's whole ship is gonna go up in up in flames. <laughs> oh no. What are we gonna do, Hairbrains? What are we gonna do? We're flying in space, but it seems like we're gonna drop out of the atmosphere real soon. General Starshade, a massive explosion has been sighted. Confirmation. I need confirmation. General Starshade, meteorites confirmed! Oh, what are those meteorites? What are they, Hairbrains? They're green and they're red. What are they? What are they? Impacted in Stardust Fields. Emergency! Emergency! Oh! Oh, this is taking me back. You, do you hear that, Hairbrains? That is a Game Boy soundtrack to remember. I wasn't meant to speed up there. Uh, the speed ups are for me pressing the space bar, which I'm not supposed to be doing. The battle soundtrack is still stuck in my head. I cannot blame you for that. It is a very catchy theme, and it's just impossible to, to get out of your head sometimes. Hmm. I can't seem to separate Mario and Luigi too much, but that's fine. It's fine. Do these guys have anything to say to me? The, the Koopa Cruiser we haven't finished painted. Oh no, they went into debt to make that Koopa Cruiser. Oh no. And they didn't even get to use it for that long either. Oh, that's terrible. Fine, Lord Bowser. Oh, Gak. Help us. B Bowser fell on the other side <coughs> of the border. My throat is actually, like, dying from trying to replicate their, like, horse uh, New York voices. I don't know why I'm giving them that sort of accent, but it is what it is. Well, well, talk about a nice surprise. Check it out, bro. It looks like the famous Mario Bros have arrived. Man, that really brings back me the memories, doesn't it? Good times. Good times. So what's up, Brother Zem? Are you two heading off on a journey together? Oh, so you probably want us to let it let you pass, huh? Yeah, well, I'm sure you guys know this is the border of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's right, it's the border, and since we're the border security, we can't let you in. 
until you do some jumping worthy of the Mario name. Want to do the border jump? Uh, explain it first, because I have no idea what this could possibly be. Holy shit, is that a Super Mario Bros. 1 reference in a Super Mario game? It sure is, and that is in, uh... A, a barrel raid. A uh, barrel. I've I've said such good things about you in the past uh, couple of <laughs> couple of uh, minutes. Um. Oh my. Omg. Barrel. Hey, barrel. Hello, raiders. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Everybody. Um. Let me give myself a short introduction. I am a uh, howdy. I'm Han. I'm half man, half bun. And when my day work for the day is done, I stream games for fun. That's that's what I do. It's a it's a simple life. But it's the one that I lead right now. EP Raid. I, I, I'm positive that you are very incredibly sleepy because Haru, who is in the same time zone as you, <laughs> went to bed like before I started streaming even. So I know it's it's way past your bedtime, Barrel. How about you head off to bed, get a, get a good bit of rest, and um, I hope your stomach's feeling better. I know you're regularly streaming now, so it must be better than before, like a couple weeks ago. But... I'm just, I'm happy that it's all good for you now, Barrel. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's all good now. I'm happy to hear that. You rhyme, Dr. Seuss. I, it's a rhyme that's been, like, I've been using that for ages, Rua. Because it works, it works, it gets the job done. <laughs> um, so I guess I should explain what I'm doing here. I am playing an older game from 2003, so this is over, over 20 years old at this point. Um, is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga uh, for the uh, not for the Visual Boy Advance? It's for the Game Boy Advance, but I am playing it for other means because I wouldn't be able to capture it otherwise. But it's a very good game, and I wanted to share it with everybody. It's uh, Superstar Saga is twenty years old. Yeah, I I am also Superstar Saga is twenty years old. Dot 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 in my head. Yeah, I, that's, <laughs> that emoji represents my soul. It's it's so relatable. I don't. When I had to look up this game and realize how old it was, and remember that I played it pretty much on release, I, uh, a bit of my soul just came right out of me. But it's okay, because hearing this uh, music brought that soul right back to where it was in my little rabbit heart. So we're doing okay now. We're doing okay now. Um, I'm just gonna have a little sippy sip of my Coke here, and then get back on with the game. Because I'm quite thirsty. There was a lot to say there, and I didn't want to, uh, miss anything. Again, thank you so much for the raid barrel. Uh, and sipping time. Twenty years old and still better than most Mar the, of the Mario games from like the last twenty or ten years. Don't worry, Han. I'm sixty-five million years old. Wait, you're younger than Rura? That's crazy. That's incredible. Unbelievable, but also very, very believable. Uh, because Rura is, I believe, four million years older than you, Mog. So you're from different eras. I'm not sure uh, how you would have ever met, but you you guys are pretty... We've, we, you've met now, and that's what matters, right? Okay. Yeah, I haven't played a lot of Mario games from the last, like, god, even the last decade. I pretty much stick to, stick to all the younger ones. But this one is very close to my heart. It's just... I hear all this music, I see these set pieces, these sprites, these cute little animations, and I am taken back to when I was a single digit uh, in age boy. Uh, not even a bun yet. I was, I was still just a plain human boy back then. And um, I love this game. Loved it a lot. The rules are really simple. Just jump to avoid touching the royal borderline. And keep on jumping until that flag in the background reaches the top of the flagpole. Listen. If either one of you makes three mistakes, then the game's over. The end. Well said, little border bro. Anyway, we'll be nice and let you practice first. Sound good? All right, what's the what's the setup here? Okay, Mario, you go first. Press the A button to jump. Okay. Next, it's your turn, Luigi. Press the B button to jump. Okay. Uh, Vera Simil Simila, thank you so much for popping hopping in. Um. Man, I love this game. I also love this game. It's it's so it's so close to my heart. I mean, I I used to carry around my Game Boy Advance with me everywhere, so I I'd, I'd have like either this game or P Pokemon Red Rescue Team um, playing uh, on like a lunch break at school or something. And sometimes even during classes, I was a bad bad boy. But 
takes me back to when I was a happier, happier person. We used to try and do the bros moves on the playground. Oh no. Please tell me you didn't jump on anybody like that. <laughs> okay, Mario. Try to jump the rope. Or, I mean, try to jump the royal borderline. Alright, let's do this. Man, that was incredible! Now it's your turn, Luigi. Let's see how you jump. Oh. Luigi's got the hops. He can do it. He can do it. Also, Theta, I'm pretty sure I didn't greet you properly. Um, thank you so much for hopping in, Theta. Hello and welcome. Howdy. Howdy. Man, that was incredible. Alright, Mario. And you too, Luigi. Try it together. Alright, where are they gonna go? Oh, Mario's turn. Oh! I didn't expect them to go so fast. Oh, uh oh. -huh. Man, that was incredible. Well, that's all the practice you get. Turtle Pog. These are these guys are kind of exciting. They're the they're the first people to acknowledge Luigi by like name properly and in a while at least, and that makes me very happy. Luigi deserves more recognition than he gets. Want to do the border jump? I sure do. Let, let, let's try it. We, we'll we'll put some respect to the uh, Mario Luigi name. They don't actually have a. Uh... <laughs> don't just call him Green Guy. He deserves more respect than that. I don't think they actually have a name, last name, do they? Oh, oh heck. Oh heck no, I'm messing up. Oh, where are they going now? I can do this. I can do this. Oh, moly, they're fast. Oh. 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 Man, very cool. That was some incredibly jumping. Clear. They never expect the slow walk. I never expected them to, like, tease me like that. It was a bit of a surprise. A bit of a jump scare, actually, but... It wasn't perfect, but it didn't need to be to succeed and get through the border, so we're good. We're winning, Hairbrains. We sure are winning. Just beyond here is Bean Bean Kingdom. You be extra careful when traveling there. I will be extra careful. It's gonna be dangerous going this way. Hold up, bros. Since we've been on duty, you two are the first people to ever to cross our border. I mean, ever. We've got to commemorate this occasion by giving you this. You got a Bean Bean map. As long as you have a map, you'll feel safer in foreign lands, right? Press select to view the menu screen and check out that map. And select, I'm pretty sure it's backspace, so it's... Oh, here we go. And here's the Bean Bean map. Oh, this brings me back so far. Oh my god. I've never completed this game, but what I do remember is that I think the first zone that you go to is that one in the bottom left? Uh, I'm not entirely certain, but I'm pretty sure it's that one in the bottom left with the forest, because the forest is, like, engraved in my mind as, like, the first place that you go to. But what's down over here? Bean Bean Bulletin, disturbing facts uncovered in Area 64. Recent studies show that the Spiky Stardust Defense System, SSDS, can be jumped. It's easy. Just run, press the A button, and then immediately press the B button. Such a defense is appalling. Improvements are demanded to prevent an increase in intruders. Is that possible for them? Oh, shoot! I can do it! I can do it! Oh! One shot at Hairbrains. I'm so skilled. I get a, I get a mushroom for, my, for our troubles. Okay. Uh, anything fancy this way? Uh, one more mushroom, maybe? Mushroom. There is a mushroom. Okay. Actually, how many mushrooms do I even have in my inventory at this point? It's gotta be something close to late skills. Um, I'm not entirely certain that I'm quite as skilled as much as I am uh, getting lucky here. But seven mushrooms. It's quite a lot. I don't think I need to use any of them yet, but it's good to know that they're there. Oh wait, it's an enemy! Oh, and he's about to bite Luigi in the butt. Oh no, Luigi's actually, like, down. Oh no. Oh, that's no good. Um, I don't think that, I think that means Luigi can't attack now this turn, which is a shame, but it's fun. Let's go. Holy moly, it was a critical attack. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. No. I got baited. Mog, like, said earlier, they never expect the slow walk, and I got slow walk just now. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. All right, well, Luigi can take care of this one for sure, right? It's gonna be a critical hit for sure, right? No. <laughs> that was painful. Green Mario being useless. Oh wait, no, I fell for it again. <laughs> I fell for it again. No. Come on, Luigi. Aw, oh, there we go. Finished him off. Only took like uh, an extra two turns than it needed to. I was going to type that on Elite Speak, but I'm not sure if anyone even uses that anymore. Um, I mean, I can read it. Not maybe as fluently as some other people, but... Uh, I was never into Homestuck or anything that would have, like, popular... Like, would have very been using Elite Speak very often. But I think if you type it out, I can read it. Also, I don't know how Luigi's fallen on its butt again and again. Just like he... I don't know. Maybe I'm not uh, hitting them or jumping on them properly, and they then Luigi walks into them by accident. Luigi, no! Wait, at least this time I can... Never mind. I was going to say, at least this time I can dodge it with him because he's standing up, but it just never didn't happen. I'm really bad with the slow walks. <laughs> Fellas, never let me play Dark Souls because I would just walk into every single delayed attack ever. That was my problem with Elden Ring, is that the delayed attacks in Elden Ring really just made it so much harder than it needed to be. It's like they wind up for an eternity and nothing happens. And then right when you are getting out of your jumping iframe animations or whatever, They attack you, and it's no good. It is no good. What's happening here? <laughs> Did I just force Bowser to poop out coins? That's no good. I'm not sure I want those ass pennies of his. Hey, Mario. Great timing. I could use a hand here. I'm kind of stuck. Look, keep your diet jokes to yourself. They're not funny. Just get me out of here. Nyak, 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 nyak. Why? Could it be that Bowser, the great Koopa King, has fallen into my cannon? Nyak, how amazing. Who dares speak to me so? Nyak, nyak, nyak. I am Tallstar, the green famed king of Stardust Fields. I've heard tales of you, but you aren't very impressive in person. Nyak, 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 nyak. Nyak, nyak. If you want me to get him out of there, Little people, you must pay in coins. I will set him free for all of your coins. And I'll even keep this most embarrassing instant a secret. What? That's not fair. Pardon me? I'm not sure I heard you correctly just now. You'll give me all 112 of your coins. Wait, well, no, no Mario. I, I never told you to do that. No Mario! Mario! Nyak, 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 nyak. Why, these are Mushroom Kingdom coins, aren't they? This is the Bean Bean Kingdom. I suppose I'll have to val calculate their value in the local currency. Let's see. Uh, today's exchange rate, 112 Mushroom coins, are worth 10 Bean Bean coins. Well, sorry. But for only 10 coins, I can't guarantee this secret won't slip out. Nyak, nyak. Yes. That means I'll need an additional 100 Bean Bean Coins. Go and find them in the Stardust Fields and bring them back to me. Then I'll help your Koopa King. <laughs> the Mushroom Kingdom must be in a recession. I sure hope not. I don't want any of the Toadstools to like starve or anything. Oh, that is a total scam. It sure is a scam, but I can't seem to just run up to him and bounce on his head a couple of times to show him, what, show him what's what and uh, Show him, teach him some respect, so I guess I do have to go around and farm money, which is unfortunate, but it's just part of the game. It's part of the game, Bear Brains. Don't hate the player, hate the, hate the game. And uh, hey, money is money no matter how how it smells. I think the... I said ass pennies earlier. Uh, that's a reference to a video that's from like ages ago. Gosh. Did you just call me a deadbeat? I'm absolutely not a deadbeat. Hey. Hey, you haven't collected 100 coins yet, deadbeats. Anyways, um, what, what was I saying? Um, 
Ask Pennies is a reference to a video where the guy's like, oh, I don't know how to be confident in these conversations that I'm having with all these big business partners. And then this guy starts like pulling him aside while they're playing golf. And he's like, do you, do you ever just, here's what you do. You go to the bank, you exchange uh, like a couple, like 20 bucks into rolls of pennies and you stick the pennies up your ass. And then uh, you, then you start using the pennies as payment in your local area. And eventually, one of those pennies will circulate into the hands of your business competitors. Now, all you gotta imagine is that they've handled your ass pennies, and it's, it's a very this is a very bad rendition of a very very good bit. And I don't know why I'm explaining this on stream because it's kind of yucky if we're being entirely honest. <laughs> but it's a uh... oh crap, Mario. But um, yeah. Pennies that come out of your butt, I don't want to touch them. I want nothing to do with them, in fact. I always like the video. It's a good video. It's a it's a classic. I've got a lot of old YouTube videos saved in my favorites that I wish I could share with you all, but they're so dated. Like, I remember liking them a lot when I was younger, but I'm not sure they, their humor would hold up nowadays. Too bad you already handled my ass pennies on. Oh, Theta. Theta, Theta, Theta. Your mistake was thinking I ever have money to begin with. I have no money. I've never handled money in my life. I'm a very poor little rabbit, which is why I had to undergo these experiments that I have. Did I miss again? Is Luigi knocked on his- He's knocked on his butt! No! Alright, whatever. Solo the fighter fly. And Luigi will just have to get up whenever he gets up. Oh, Luigi's about to tank a whole last bull- Oh, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage for Mr. Luigi. But it's okay. Alright. These things are probably going to be very tanky, I assume. I also have this ability, uh... I have the BP that I haven't used yet. I'm pretty sure I must be getting abilities later on that allow me to use the special BP resource that I seem to have underneath my HP. Like, see, I'm about to level up, and I'm about to get more BP, so I have 11 BP now. And I have no idea what it, it, it's used for, so I'm not going to really bother with that. I will just put more points into power. That seems like the right idea. And pray for me, Hairbrains. Pray for me. Let's high roll this. Let's get a three. Let's get a three. Let's get a three. Ah! ah! Damn it, Theta. You cursed it. You cursed it. How could you? How could you? You didn't believe, Theta. I needed you to, to have some more faith. That's a bad Hairbrain. Bad. You get the spray. Where's the spray? It's like right here. You get the spray, Theta. Do you hear this, Theta? This is what you, this is what we do to bad hairbrains. This is what we do to ha bad hairbrains. Anyways. Can't believe it. He hates me. Oh, I switched- I switched- eh, switched to Luigi when I didn't mean to. Let me, um, I'm gonna go get another glass of coke, because I need to continue to hydrate myself. Choose stash next, and get three. Trust me. I don't even know what stash does. I mean, I'd love to, but I don't even know what stash does. Hold on, let me, let me check really quick. Bros info. I think it's luck crit. Oh, that would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense, actually. You're right. Hmm. Light, eat, comfy, and easy to walk in. Work pants. I like that for them. Stretch and hydrate time. I really should stretch my shoulder because it's freaking hurting. One of the reasons I only ever stream for like two hours at a time is because eventually my shoulders and my like my knees and everything just starts to hurt way too dang much. And I just cave. I cave. I give in to the pain. Um, But I'm probably going to do my best to hold out for as long as I can now. I think I can, I think I can do that. For you, for you, Hairbrain. Anything for you. But, give me, give me a minute. I will get some more coke. Actually, I have coke right here. I just have to put it back in the, uh, bridge after I, do, uh, after I finish pouring myself. The glass. Oh.
Okay. I don't know if you could hear could hear me do any of that, but the coke's now poured. I'm quite happy with it. Man. Gotta say, the fact that I can get a liter of coke uh refrigerated from the corner store here is really nice. It's I mean I could also get a, a two liter, but like by the time you get through a two liter bottle of coke, it's kind of gone flat and stale, and you just kinda hate the last like 33% of it, or like the last quarter of the bottle. It's no fun. But a liter bottle, a liter bottle you can down in one go, and then you can get a second liter bottle the next for the next day, and then go through another liter of coke that. <laughs> I know some people put uh disrespect sugar a lot, but I'm personally I'm I'm quite fond of sugar. It makes me feel good. I crave it sometimes. Ugh. That is a good drink. I'm very happy with that. Now, continuing on with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, I will not let my weak hair body get to the better of me. We will jump right in here and not have not start out with Luigi knocked on his ass. Let's let's do this. Ooh, I can do four damage now. Sweet. Ah, but I still lose the uh. The checks. Oh my god, I'm both brothers too. I'm really bad with the delayed attacks, fellas. Hairbrains, if you ever watch me, I don't think I'll ever play Elden Ring on the channel, but if I ever do, you'll see just how bad I am with these things. Which is why I always end up like really, really heavily metagaming and just going for whatever's easiest. Alright, Theta, Theta. It's it's time. It's time, okay? Let's see if you're if you're ever if you're gonna be proven right here, crit or stash, get three. I'm gonna trust you here, okay? Oh, I'm closing my eyes. I'm just gonna press A. What is it? What is it? Hair brains? What is it? It's a one. Screw you, Theta. You lied to me. That's a bad hair brain. Bad. But it's okay. I still love you, anyways. All right, what are we going through over here? What does this say? Bike pads, hold the control pad uh, and then press A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay. A, B, A, B. Okay, what does this, what does this do? Just makes me money, just makes me money. How much money do I have? Bad RNG from not playing a Game Boy Advance SP. Look, if I had my Game Boy Advance SP, I would, but I, I don't have it here. I don't have it here. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, How many bean coins do I have now? 48. Okay. Can I, like, metagame this and, like, jump up this sign here? Oh, Daya. Hello, Daya. You are full of soup. I'm happy to see that you are full of soup. I I also some I was full of soup earlier. I'm still technically full of soup, but I uh, feel less full now. Syrup. What does syrup do? Does that make me feel more magical? Let me check. Items. Syrup. Receive. Recover twenty bros. Po <gasps> bros points. Oh my god. I fell asleep to barrel and woke up to your voice. I'm sorry, Di. Should I give you have given you a softer voice like this? Should I, should I have whispered in your ear? Should I have muted the game audio? And told you how much uh, how happy I am to see my friend Daya Diamandis, uh, Diamond VTuber, in my chat here. Hello, Daya. Hello. You are feeling very calm. You're feeling very relaxed, Daya. You are hard as a diamond. But I'm going to <laughs> wait. No, I'm not going to finish that sentence because uh, it's not authentic. It's just me messing with you. Um... <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let me get back more on track. Um, syrup recovers bros points. I think bros points is a hilarious term to use for the equivalent of mana or just special points in this game. Bros points. What a funny term. <laughs> uh, oh, crap. All right. 
Well, if nothing else, I didn't mess up, uh, so Luigi doesn't have to take a hit here, but I do realize now, very, very late, that I, uh, these guys, the bros, they need, they need healing bad. They need healing really, really badly. Like, that badly. If I mess up this, uh, oh wait, no, I didn't mess it up. Um, I was gonna say, if I mess up the jump, then Mario is gonna die, for sure, but... It seems we are all right. We are we are quite all right. More than all right, really. Oh, <laughs> those missiles do so much damage. Mario's poor little plumber body can't take it. But like I said, uh, at the very start of the game, you're going to be hearing a lot of this theme. It's like the generic combat theme for the entire game, and it doesn't change. So you better like it or get used to it. And after you get used to it, you should start liking it a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Visual Boy Advance does save when you save like this. So I should be able to load up the game and uh, play it the same way, but even if not... Still gonna do a save state. Uh, have you played the Mario Luigi game where they're inside Bowser? Uh, no, but I... Of course you would like the, uh... Of course you would like the, uh, one where they're inside some... somebody. Uh... Oh no, is right. Uh, no I haven't. This is the only one of the series that I've played. And I'm quite fond of it. It's sort of a running thing where I haven't touched games that come out later than uh later than the original like first entries into the series like with pokemon red rescue team i've only ever played the first one and i think maybe i've played sky i'm not entirely certain but um the one with dialga that's the one that i played there's a scene where bowser gets die i'm gonna Time you out for like five minutes if you if you talk any more about inflation or being full of soup. I won't actually ban you for five minutes. I'm just fucking with you, Daya. You're my friend. I never, never ever, never ever. Ugh. And neither the first nor the last Nintendo fetish insert, <laughs> but it happened. I'm sure that it does happen. I'm sure that it does, and I will be just as weirded about it then as I am. Uh, at the very thought of it now. But it's okay, Die. It's okay. We're doing alright. I'm amazed that you're still awake at this time. How could you possibly be awake at this time? Unless you, like, just woke up or something. I mean, did you take a nap? Like, how long was your nap? Because I know Barrel was streaming for, like, maybe... I want to say, like, four hours or something like that? Four, four or five hours? Not entirely certain. Once I, once I start watching, you just woke up? Okay, well... I'm happy. Oh my god, I did so much damage to all of them. Um, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, once I once I go live, I, I tend to focus on just what I'm doing when I'm live. I can't uh, quite comfortably check Twitch. Uh, but for once, I don't actually have to have the game covering my entire screen, because I feel like this game is better played on a smaller portion of a large screen. And uh, the art style really shines through when it's not... Um, when it's not massively uh, increased in, or upscaled, rather. I mean, it is, it's a Game Boy game. Of course it's going to look better on a smaller screen. That's what it was meant for. My question is, how do I get over to this area that I want to be in? There's so many little blocks here, and I want to get them, but I can't, uh, can't seem to do it. Wait, can Luigi jump higher? Because he's taller? Maybe? No, it doesn't seem that way. All right. Uh, I'm glad I can catch one of your streams live. It's been a while. It has been a while, but I've also been slacking, like, quite a bit. So don't feel too bad about missing out. It's not your fault. It's mine. It's okay, Daya. Our time zones are unaligned. Um, it's more that I haven't been able to be free, uh, especially to stream. Oh, what, what the heck is that? I haven't been able to be free to stream when I need to, and... Yeah. But I am able to peep in on other people's streams, especially uh, this week. I'll be completely free for actually a couple of weeks, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I'd like to be able to 
collab with Eerie at some point, because the only thing holding us back from that was the fact that I couldn't make his times, because uh, he can only do, like, in the morning. But I will happily, happily, happily uh, be with him, like, for Portal 2. We, we were thinking about doing Portal 2 uh, at some point, and I think that's a fantastic game to play. I've played it in the past, but I don't remember any of the puzzles, so I think I should be good. And he's never played it uh, co-op before either, so... That should be a pretty good matchup. Uh, Eerie is so cool. I agree. Eerie is very cool. I He's got these these killer killer eyes. I really like that about him. Portal 2 collab 1. I'm not entirely sure. I think the thing, the next time he said it was free was like Tuesday or Thursday. Um, but I'll have to ask him about that later. Uh, but we have some voice lines here. We have some voice lines here. Sergeant Starshade, the shooting stars we just witnessed were an alien bombardment. Perhaps. In the name of the Starshade Bros, we will find the alien scum. They will rue the day. General Starshade, sir, I have confirmed the presence of a suspicious and unknown entity. It is a vivid green color that pierces the eye. Hmm, yes, sighting confirmed. However, I see not green, but red. Urgent. Pursue additional visual contact immediately. So what is the story of this game? What are Mario and Luigi trying to do? Uh, the basic gist of it is the game started out in a cutscene. Uh, there were some people from the Bean Kingdom, so they're like green. And these green people made uh, Peach... Uh, they, they gassed Peach. The beans gassed Peach. And they made, they made her lose her voice. And now whenever she speaks, she bombs everything around her. And so we're trying to go re reclaim her voice from the, the Bean Kingdom, the evil Bean Kingdom. And uh, we did that uh, by... We got on a ship that was owned by Bowser, and while we were midair, the ship got bombed by the, the Bean Kingdom, and we fell uh, onto the border between the Bean Kingdom and the, the Mushroom Kingdom. And that's where we are now. And right now we're speaking to some some brothers that are seeming to, to match us quite a bit, so. Oh, incredible. It is none other than Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi sighting confirmed. Sergeant Starshade, change of mission objective. Obtain autographs, stat. Hmm, I see. Incredible. To think Princess Peach's lovely voice in the hands of some vile enemy. Oh, it's kind of cool that I just explained what ha what was happening after Daya asked, and it ended up kind of matching the story. That's kind of cool, cool, actually. I like it when there's synchronicity like that. The voice must be recovered, no matter what it takes. Priority one, Sergeant Starshade. We must provide as much field support as we can. Very well. We Starshade Bros will teach you the secrets of Bros action. Master Mario, Master Luigi, special Bros action training shall commence immediately. Are you ready to undergo training? I sure am. I'm pretty sure this is necessary to complete the remainder of the game, so I will absolutely do that. Oh, what is this? When you wish to jump up to a higher ledge, Luigi jump on Mario to perform a high jump. First, press the L button to choose your high jump. Uh... Fuck me. My wrist is really starting to kill me. Also, those guys have noses for days, holy moly, they should not have turned to the side. And then press the B button to jump. <sighs> my wrist. Holy crap. Oh my god, that is painful. <laughs> oh dear. The moment you jump on him, press the B button again. Um... You know what? I, uh... I may... may rearrange some buttons here. Chad facial features? Something like that. And now he's all scr scrunched up like that. That's no good. That is no good for him. Are you playing on the keyboard? I am playing on the keyboard. Uh, my... The issue is that my hand is turned a certain way. And it is really rather painful, but I think if I just um, adjust a couple of things, like my the location, uh, the way that my 
screen is facing and then adjust my microphone maybe I adjust all these I can get a little bit closer to the microphone and that will make it a bit more natural at least for my hands and it should be a little bit less painful as well so you're gonna get to be a little bit closer to me here brains I hope that's all right with you and at the moment you jump on him press the B button again see you can jump higher than on you can on your own indeed it's jumping synergy do you require another explanation? No! We're getting closer to Han Sama. I'm not a Sama. Please don't call me a Sama. I'm... I'm like Han... Uh, Mon call, calls me Han, Han Chama affectionately. Yeah, I think that's cute. But I'm, all, I'm not a Chan or a, Hama or a Sama. I'm like... You can just... I'm just Han. I'm just Han. Very well, Luigi. Then use the high jump you just learned to reach the ledge on your right. I'll choose B to perform action. Oh my god, look at him. He's smushing Mario. Han Kun. Han is a bit Han Kun is a bit like you're you're like a girl at the at the school that I go to and you're trying to be like um personable but not too friendly. You can just call me Han. Han is alright. Vortice, I'm sorry I didn't get to back to you sooner. Uh, alright, it's time for me to go back to sleep. Have a great rest of the stream. See you. Vortice, you have a great, great sleep. It's well deserved. Get your rest, King. And B. Ooh. It's a bit unwieldy, but I think I'll get the hang of it pretty soon after if, if I just uh, practice enough. If you use your high jump. Climb ledges that you can never climb alone. Now, press start to change positions. Mario, sir, you move to the rear. Press the L button to choose your spin jump. Uh huh. Uh huh. Spin! Then press the B button to jump. What, is, what happens if I do a spin jump here? See? You ride piggyback. Now, if you press the B button once more, the two of you spin through the air together. Holy moly, look at them! They're like a little helicopter. Mushroom toadstool helicopter. Press the control pad while you spin to move through the air. Look at him go! Look at him go! It is possible to use this spin jump to jump across wide valleys and dangerous pits. Do you require another explanation? No! Very well, Mario. Then use your spin jump to reach the ledge on the right. Uh... No, that's not the right one. Switch. Uh... Spin. B action, uh, B action, do the action, move. Oh heck, you failed, but learning always takes some time. Try again. Oh, I have to, wait, what the heck, why is it, why is it um, not stick around for, for long enough? I barely made it, I just barely made it. I think I might be doing something wrong, but if I can get most of the way there, I think I should be all right. See boys, that the rear uh, actions that the rear member performs using the B button are called bros actions. Press the L button to choose an action and the B button to perform it. Remember that. There are more actions that only brothers like you can perform. Training complete. Ready to return? Uh, <laughs> I like how they have very blatant answers here for the children that are going to be playing this game and don't know how to phrase what they need help with. So. They phrase it like, I don't get high jumps. I don't get spin jumps. Even though to get to this point in the first place, you would still, you would need the explanation. You would have to understand how to do that to get to the point where you get to this menu that has the explanations. I don't know. Anyways, ready to return? I sure am. I sure am ready to return. It's cute. I think this game is incredibly cute. It's so, it's so stylistic. It's so, I mean, Mario has, it's uh, designs, right? It's tried and true. Uh, over the years, they've tested every single design that they could, and, you know, Mario has held through it all. But I think this one is uh, has got a very nice art style. You must use the high jump and the spin jump to reach the flag way up there. Good luck, soldiers. Well, that won't be too hard. I'm pretty sure I got the right idea here. And that's a high jump. And it's another high jump. It's another high jump. An I said that's another high jump. There we go. Now we switch. Barely made it, but that's alright. And high jump all the way up here. 
Switch. Fuck. Die Die Mandis, you are incredibly cute for being a uh, low poly gem in the form of a human VTuber. And I'm happy that you're my friend. Oh shit! Let's go. Okay. I'm praying that we make this one. Oh, we did it! Let's go! Let's go, Hairbrains! Hmm, incredible. Master Mario. Master Luigi. I truly, you truly are, Super Brothers. I salute you. He's saluting us. He's saluting us. Let's hit him with the salute emoji. I have to Google this every time, but it's my favorite emoji in the entire world. It's that one. My favorite. The, the 07 also works if you can't uh, copy-paste the salute emoji. It's alright. If you can't. Master Mario. Master Luigi. May your mission be successful. Good luck out there. Move out. And away they go. Goodbye, friends. Oh, Now we finally have something to do with our special buttons. And I think we, we now know how to get around the uh, area over here that I think I was having trouble with. Which is really important. Um, how many coins do I have now, though? I have 68 coins. Okay. And if I head up here, this should be... This is a high jump. Oh! I gotta hit it more! Hit. Oh, I didn't get as many coins out of that as I could have, but it's alright. And this is definitely a spiral jump. Oh shoot! No, no, no! Oh, I only got three coins out of that one. I could have gotten so many more. Uh, I really gotta untrigger, learn to untrigger this one, I guess. But I'll be all right. Mario and Luigi, sirs. Oh wait, they're back already? I thought we had- When you salute somebody, you kind of expect them to be away for a while, but these guys just came back immediately. This is- <laughs> This is an emotional reunion, sirs. By your leave, there is something we completely forgot to mention to you earlier. Affirmative. You see, when a master of- When you master a technique in the field, you can also use it in battle. Since you have mastered the high jump and the spin jump, you can now use these techniques in battle. We must confirm technique mastery in combat simulation. Whoa, that is a lot of dudes. That is, that is like six dudes. I'm not sure I can take six dudes. Uh, they're bringing it down to one dude. Okay, I can take one dude. Oh. The bros were not ready for this. They were, they were terrified of this one dude that was coming at them. Proceeding with bros attack tutorial. First, as you can see in Mario's command options, there's a new attack command called Bros Attack. Bros Attacks. Bros Attacks are duo techniques in which Master Mario and Master Luigi attack together. When you choose this command, your list of Bros Attacks appears. Okay, let's see your attack, Mario. Uh, I don't actually know what this one does. Splash Bros. Uh, can I... All right, uh, let's jump high and drop. Sure. Fight or fly, yeah. Oh shoot, I bounce on his head. Halt. As you can see, it's grown dark. Immediately after the light fades, you'll see a button input icon. But do not worry, things move in slow motion during button input. Halt. As you can see, not only do things move slowly, but the icons are clearly displayed. Press the button, please. By the way, if you hit the command exactly, something like this will appear. And actually, there are multiple bro bros attacks action commands. So, on to the next one. This time, check the timing and press the button on your own. Wait, what the heck is this game? It looks neat. It this game is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It's from it's for the Game Boy Advance. It uh, came out in 2003, so it's over two, two decades old, and I'm playing it because I have quite a quite a love for it. I played it very very often as a ch as a child, so it's super fun. It's super stylistic, and it holds up. At least I, I believe it holds up. 
you've never even seen this game before while well, you've been missing out your whole life, Sly. You've been missing out your whole life. But don't worry, I'm here to play it for you. And if you like what you see, you can play it yourself as well. I'm not gonna tell you not to play something that looks fun. And it's also very fun all on its own. Messed up? It's not met. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's messed up about this? There's a lot of things that you could be saying messed up to. There's a lot of things you could be saying messed up to. But, um, hello and welcome, Sw Sw welcome Swive Hil Spy Hilda. It's good to see you. Howdy. <clears throat> this time, check the timing and press the button on your own. Messed up that I missed out on this my whole life? Well, try not to think about all the things that you, um have missed out on, on your life. Uh, you'll just be kind of sad about it. I know I am. I know I am. Don't worry about that. We'll, you'll be fine. As long as you're here with me, you're you're not missing out on anything. Hi, honey bunny. Yeah. It's fine. That's not the that's not the tone that I expect out of you. I expect a I expect a professional. I expect a, a trained professional. <laughs> Explodes streamer with mind. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I've been exploded. I'm no longer here. You can't see me. I've- Billy has successfully just destroyed me. It's over. It's over, Hairbrains. There's no more Han. There's only, um, non. Not- not- instead of, uh, Hanbun, I am Nonbun. <laughs> Nunbun. Uh, Han Nun? No, that, that that doesn't really work. Off. Anyways, anyways, let's let's forget about that for now. He's now a woman kisser. I've always liked kissing women. I've never really done it before, but I like to think of. <laughs> what the hell are you making me say, Billy? Go go be gay. Just be be a normal. Be a, no. <laughs> enough. Enough. This time, check the timing and press the button on your own. Yeah. Hey. Halt! There's one more command. It's the last one, but it's important. If you nail this action command, it will add up the success of earlier action commands and inflict incredible damage. Press the button now! Now! Oh my god, great, 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 great. Okay. That's how bros attacks work. Next, I'll tell you about the modes and bros attacks. Modes are the difficulty levels of the bros attacks. The modes can be changed. Just press the R and the L buttons here to change the modes. Mode 2 is without slow motion. Mode 3 is without button icons. Once you master action commands, try different modes for a greater challenge. Seating in the most difficult mode will benefit you greatly. Master Mario, Master Luigi, good luck. Once you succeed enough times, you may be able to devise some new advanced commands. Advanced commands are methods that further evolve your actions. When you learn one of these, one of you will flash, and you will understand. For now. Just master the basic attack action commands. Bros attack training is complete. Almost. Lastly, I shall explain bros points. You must use bros points to execute bros attacks, so use your points wisely. Here ends the bros attack lesson. Really? Thus, we can officially confirm that these field techniques are indeed executable in battle. Proper planning and preparation will ensure your safety throughout your journey. We wish you luck. Move out. Um, is this the original idea before Paper Mario looks like it? I don't believe so. I believe this is what they eventually came to uh, when they decided they wanted to make a Mario RPG that was for their handheld at the time, which was the Game Boy Advance. And I think they did really, really well with it. Like, it's got the right amount of everything. It's got obviously Mario and Luigi. Yeah, and also this game came out in 2003. When did when did um Paper Mario come out? Let me check. Paper Mario. The original Paper Mario came out in 2000, right? Paper Mario uh, Thousand Year Door, I think it was 2006 or something like that. 2004. So this game came out before Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um but 
either way, uh, Paper Mario was on the Nintendo 64, and Game Boy was definitely out, or Game Boy Advance, at least, was definitely out after um, the GameCube came out. So I think that, uh, yeah, this was definitely inspired by Paper Mario, but they had to make it a bit different for the sake of, you know, obviously being on a handheld. Um, I want to play, he's going to become pro, I want to play Bug Fables now, but EP and Gay. Uh, that's, I expect nothing else from you, Billy, aside from EP and Gay. It's okay. I have to let out the voices in my head sometimes so I can stay professional when it's needed. Ah, I also feel that way. I feel the exact same way, Spy. Uh, that's, that's what being a VTuber is all about. Letting the voices out in your head. I guess it was opposite then. Uh, didn't think part paper came out later. See, it seems more updated style-wise. Hmm. They actually do continue on with the series, I think with two sequels. Two whole sequels that I've never even touched. Um, maybe I will later on, sometime, sometime later. For now though, I'd like to get through this game because I don't think I ever completed it when I was a kid. I got pretty far into it a couple of times, but I never completed it. So I'd be really happy if I could now. It'd be nice. It would be really nice. Uh, so moving on. Let's keep going, Hairbrains. Uh, where are we now? I'll be quiet. I won't disturb and pause your game. Good luck. No, it's okay if you want to talk. It's it's perfectly welcome. Must be an old game. It's uh, it's from 2003. How, how old do you consider 2003, Daya? Uh, oh, heck. That wasn't supposed to happen. Um, up, up, and... Heck. Get me up. I was just a wee lad when this game came out. I was also just a wee lad. But, you know, it's okay to be a wee lad. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. Hold on. Oh! Barely made it. There's, They don't give you uh, an excess of time for this one. They do not. Were you even a baby, Daya? Were you even a baby? Ah, I could. I think I could have gotten one more point out of that one if I had tried well enough. But this is fine. Eh. Eh, control, stop it. Be normal. Be normal. Right, I think I have enough coins now. 94. I need to kill, like, one thing. Okay. Is there a fly just waiting to be... There's gotta be, like, some sort of fly around here, right? Or wait, no, I can come to these, uh... Yeah, yeah, these ones I can finally... think... start to break down? No. Dang it. One thing I don't like about uh, older games, though, is that I always get really lost by their map design. Uh, maybe I can walk this way? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I can hop up here, can't I? Ah, I'm a genius. All right, this should give me the money that I need. Never mind, it just gave me a useless mushroom. Oh, money, money, money. Give me money, more money. Uh, it was only like five coins, but that should be enough, right? 101. So after I go and pay that fella, I'll be left with one coin. Wait, no, that's two coins. That is two whole coins, bean coins, uh, particularly for me. So that's good news. I didn't want to do that. I want to do this, and... I pray that this takes me where I need to be. Eh. Alright, one more time. Oh, wait! Oh, no! Um, I'm a bit lost now. But that's okay. Wait, no, no, no. This is exact. This is exactly where I need to be. Okay. Um, Nick, let's see here. You now have 102 coins. Nick, it took you long enough, but well done. I'll just be taking those coins now. Finally, let me out of here. Huh? You want out? You want me to help you? Who said I'd do that? Grrk, you welcher! 
Nick, 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 you're not in the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. Outsiders, be gone. Let's go. All right, fellas, this is our first boss fight with bruise attacks in Intel. I think, I think we do this uh, the hard way. What is level three? I'm not actually sure. Is level three is the hardest one, right? I think this is the hardest one. Let's let's just go for the hardest one right off the bat. Why not? Why not? And oh, there we go. Seven whole damage in one turn. I think we can be pretty proud of that one. Uh, what does Luigi's one do? Bounce Bros. So Mario's special attack was Splash Bros. Luigi's is Bounce Bros. And I have no experience with this one. So I'm going to first do this on the mm, lowest difficulty. And then we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right. What does it say? B. A. Oh, only three damage, though. Not not really the finest. Let's do normal attacks and see how that goes instead. Because I'm pretty sure I can do decent damage with... Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a nasty attack? Even watching the hand I throw with won't help you. Wait, what is he? What did he mean by that? What did he mean by that? I feel like that's a that's a bit of a tell, isn't it? So the hand that he throws with is the uh, L for which one's going to. Oh, it's so obvious now. It's so easy. It's too easy for, for Han Bun. This guy doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, no, I was supposed to not jump for that one. Oh, no, I got, I got bamboozled hairbrains. All right, let's try another bros attack. I think I can do this one uh, max difficulty. Let's do it. Ouch. Oops. Okay, maybe not max difficulty. This one I can do max difficulty, though. And bam, seven hole damage. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. But how about this? Nick. I've got him now. None of his secret little techniques will, will get me this time. Bam. Zam. Oh shoot, I should have jumped for that one. All right, I'm gonna try this one again. Max difficulty. Oh, wait, I didn't uh, didn't la quite stick the landing. I didn't stick the landing, so I got punished for it, but it's all right, it's all right. And that's left hand. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Mario is taking a hit, a hit or two, and I think we're kind of poor on bros points. We've got no more bro, bro energy. Uh, I was gonna say bro energy, but that doesn't quite roll off the tongue like like something like energy does. Um, we need more bros points, so Luigi needs them more, more, much more than Mario does. So I will have a, I'll have a syrup. Wait, do we both get um, bros points from drinking the syrup? That'd be really cool. Does that does that work? Oh no, it's only one. Okay, but I can use it on either me or Luigi, or me or Luigi, me and Mario. Uh, Mario's got one more Splash Bros attack in him. I think I'm gonna do that. And stick landing. There we go. Oh! It was Kino! It was cinematic! I finished off with the special move and I landed every single shot. That's great. Mario levels up. Okay, okay. This is great. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put some points into Stash. I think Stash is looking a bit lacking. And it also didn't get any points this time, so... Maybe some putting some points into Stash would not be... Uh... A bad idea. Bronergy sounds dangerously close, close to Broner. I'm gonna pretend I know what Broner means. And, uh... Oh, is it like a boner for your bro? That, that's, uh... Questionable. Just like landing a one. When I could have gotten a two or a three at least. Ah, oh, damn it. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this? Alright, Luigi. Luigi, please. Please redeem this trash... That trash roll on, uh... The one there. Come on. Come on, big boy, you got this. I saw... Oh, I saw two threes pass by. I didn't make it. We're not gonna make it, bros. It's so bad. It's so over. It's so over. Did we... Did we humble him? Did we... Did we... Did we get him? You, sir, have been griping far too loudly for some time. 
Let's just say there's enough Mario Bros. fan out- fan art out there. Oh no. Oh no. Mario and Luigi are, like, my reaction to the- the Mario and Luigi fan art. That's- that's not what I want to hear about. Oh, dear. M Mario! Green Stash! You gotta get Princess Peach's voice back! It's all up to you! Did he take my money with him? I kind of needed that. <laughs> I'm gonna be really disappointed if I don't get my money back some at some point. Um, I'm pretty sure this is how I get across. Okay. Let's go! I love- I love their cute little voices. Alright, let me save here. Saving. Save and continue. And after I finish saving here, I will also make a save state. And I will try and see about... Who I might... Hit with a raid. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna just chill here for a moment. I'll go check out Twitch. Um, dashboard. That's what I want to look for. Um, uh, Momomo maybe? Maybe that wouldn't be a bad pick. Momomo deserves some love. He's a squid man. He's very much a squid fella. I'm happy to see him whenever I get the chance to. Um. Feel- wait, I have a stream open. Oh, there's still two more hours until the Attack on Titan release, uh, releases its final episode for, you know, final episode of the final season of the part two. Uh, <laughs> it's quite a bit going on there, but let's not worry about that for now. Maybe I can keep going for another couple hours. Why not? I've, I've got quite a bit of time uh, until then. I will have to maybe tone myself down a bit. I mean, a little bit less Bunnergy, Bunnergy in there. Uh, I want Bunnergy to not sound like Bonergy. Boner. I don't ever want to have to say the word boner on stream, but here I am doing it. Um, Bunnergy. Bunnergy is a is a safe. It's it's a it's it's a free word to use. It's it's not it's not dangerous. It's not a yab at all. Bunnergy, we we believe in Bunnergy here. Attack on Titan, yeah, no, I'm a... Not... Well, hmm, hmm. I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Attack on Titan. But, no, 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 Not Bun Bunnergy. No. How do I... I'm hiding, chat. I'm getting rid of that. I don't want that over my head right now. What is that? Well, how could you do this to me, Sly? I trusted you. I trusted you, you rat. That's all right. It's still not gone. Dang it. <laughs> Whatever. It can stick around over my head for a little bit while, a little while longer. It's fine. If we move on with the game. Oh! Oh! New music! New music from... I don't... When was the original Mario Bros. released? It was like in 1980 or something, right? Or some, like, real... Sometime really far back. They made this song that long ago and it's gotten so much <laughs> it's done so much work this little tune of theirs all right we got a mushroom you know who could actually use that <gasps> oh my god the music the music it's so good i can just sit here forever and listen to this I'm so happy just being here again. Oh my god, it's like I'm a child. You fiends! We, we found you at last, you scum. What have you done with Prince Peasley? Yes, there is no mistake. You kidnapped Prince Peasley. We have witnesses. Now confess, villains. What's that? You say you're Mario and Luigi. Lies. Bald-faced lies. The superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom would never come here. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. They're not lying. They say they've come here chasing someone called Cacletta, and they're really, really tough. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh boy. 
Pardon us, sirs. So sorry. See, our kingdom's Prince Peasley was kidnapped by something. Or so recent reports out of Hoo Village claim. We've been looking for any sign of the perpetrator. According to eyewitness accounts, the prince's kidnapper wore an odd helmet and spoke of mustard and fink rats. This is all we have to go on. If you come across anything, please let us know. Reopen the investigation. And it looks like we're free. It looks like we are free. That's great. Great news. Um, I'm going to have myself another drink now, though, that we are back in a what seems to be a very chill and a safe area with some nice music. You guys can enjoy the music while I have myself a sip of my Coke here. Um, I did not end up putting it back in the fridge to cool it down, uh, or rather to keep it cool. So it's kind of gone to room temperature by now. It's a little bit below room temperature, but if I don't drink it now, I'm probably not going to enjoy it very much. But it's alright. It's okay. Ah. Alright. Let me give myself a drink here. Oh, that is lovely. That is a really, really lovely. It's so, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing. It's exactly what I needed right now. No ice cubes around. So the thing is, I don't actually have ice cubes. Well, maybe I, maybe in the freezer. Uh, to make ice cubes here, <laughs> I need to pour water into a uh, ice cube tray. And I've got to say, after being an American for so long with ice cube machines inside of my fridge for God knows how long, I'm not terribly fond of manually pouring water into the ice cube tray. I I'm just going to be honest, it's annoying. It's annoyance. If it's not automated for me, I don't want to do it. But for you, Swy, I will, I will go take a look. I will go take a look for you, Swy. Give me one moment, please. All right, all right. I have checked the fridge for ice cubes. There were no ice cubes in the fridge, and there were no ice cubes in the freezer either, which is terribly, terribly disappointing. <laughs> and I now, I now remember why I don't like pouring water into these trays. When you pour water into the tray, it splashes everywhere and gets your hands all wet. It's not a clean process, and I just, I don't like the feeling. I don't like knowing that there's just water splish splashing everywhere. Again, the American in me does not care for these tedious processes that should be done by, you know, my many hundreds of dollars worth of kitchen appliances. It should take care of itself. Let's get back into the game. Despite that, I think my my lukewarm Coke will just have to be what I have. And uh, besides, it's, uh, it's still fresh. It's still got the... What is it? The carbonation that makes a soft drink so so pleasurable to to enjoy, to imbibe in. So that's fine. As long as that's there, 
I'll, I'll make it through anything. This is Hoo Hoo Village, on the flanks of Hoo Hoo Mountain. The mountain is a sacred place. And does she have anything aside from that to tell me? No. Very, uh, short-spoken, these people. If you climb down this mountain, reach the town surrounding Bean Bean Castle. The townsfolk are so much more stylish and fashionable than people in this town. I just adore them. Can I go into these houses? Oh, I can. The does this fella have anything to say to me? Uh, I saw this kingdom's prince, Prince Peasley, on the edge of the village. Uh, I'm sure of it. He was taken to the top of the mountain by some guy wearing a weird helmet. To reach Hoo Hoo Mountain's peak, you have to either ri get a ride from the Bla Bla Blandon. Bla 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 <laughs> How the hell do I say that thing? Bla Bla Nadon. Hike up. Hiking, the mountain is brutal, but if you can get a bride from the Blabanandon, it's a snap. A snap like this? Hmm. You know, there are some people that I... Apparently they didn't realize that when you snap, the, the sound doesn't come from the the fingers, like, tapping. They come from the finger, your middle finger hitting your the meat of your, like, thumb. And they they lived like their whole life not realizing it until they actually like, thought about it for a little bit longer, which I think is a bit silly. It's a bit funny. Yeah. Everyone should climb Hoo Hoo Mountain once. You can see the whole whole kingdom from the top. Oh, I feel like I'm being directed one way, one very particular way, but I can't I can't quite put my finger on it. I couldn't tell you how or why. It's so strange, Hairbrains. Why, why do you... Th wh where, where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? I couldn't tell you. No matter how long you wait, Lava Nadon won't come back. I feel it in my bones. He said he saw someone who looked like Prince Peasley, went to the summit, and never returned. With Lava Nadon gone, we can't get to the top of the mountain. This isn't good. Well. <gasps> talk about railroading. Um, There's so many people to talk to. I can't give them all individual name or like voices. I'm just going to use an easy voice. Long ago on this very mountain, the Hoo Hooligans developed the Great Hoo Hoo Civilization. At the summit, there still remain many mysterious remnants of this once great people. Huh? You want to climb down to where... <coughs> Sorry about that, hairbrains. You want to climb down to where there's a town? Then just keep heading left down this path. Uh, I'm not actually sure that's the way I want to go. So I'm going to keep on trying to go up for now. The pictographs on the walls here are ancient letters known as Horror... <laughs> ancient letters known as Horroglyphs. Oh, wait, no, they're Horroglyphs. Why did I read that as Horroglyphs? Um, they represent the countless jokes developed by the ancient hoo-hoo civilization. Well, I, they certainly got a kick out of me, so I think they're they're doing the right thing. What's in here? Ooh, funny music. We are said to be the descendants of the people who developed the Hoo Hoo civilization. This land is largely populated by the Beanish peoples, but there are other races, like ours. I think I can only get a max of like five coins per thing there, which is fine. That's fine. And can I jump? Hello? There we go. Hmm. Can't seem to do anything from... Wait, no. Can I do something from there? Can I do a spiral? No, that doesn't really take me anywhere. Alright. Prince Peasley. I'm not sure that I like... Daya, are you into pee? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Do, do you need some help? Alright, mushroom... Oh, heck. Good morning, Han. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Slushy. It was uh, great talking to you earlier. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you know what what about or evening because of time zones. It's his, uh, it is evening. It is 12.02 a.m. for me, but that's okay. It's, uh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right here. Um, but like I said, it was great to talk to you earlier this morning. Um, we had our, we had our moment. Yu-Gi-Oh moment is probably peak of my voice acting career. I'll never, I'll never top my, the voice that I did for that one. Uh, Daya, actually, if you haven't checked it out, we did a funny little video. 
I could actually take a little bit of a break to go and watch it, but I don't think the audio quality on it was terribly high. So maybe we'll not watch it on stream, but I'll send it. If you check the, uh, I'll send you the link, actually. I'll send you the link. Hold on. Wait, no, die. What am I saying? You were there for that. You were literally there, die. <laughs> you don't need a link. You're part of it. What am I? Oh my god, I'm being silly. I'm being a silly rabbit. I'm sorry, Daya. Uh, do I get to go anywhere here? The game wants me to go to the top of the mountain. I'm not sure if that's where I'm meant to be going. It's so weird that for you it was earlier today and for me it was yesterday. He forgot I was there as much. It was at the start of the day. I was like half asleep, okay? I didn't even start recording it until, <laughs> until we were like partway through it, okay? I, uh, I, I forgot. How, but how could I forget your your lovely, fantastic Kaiba impression? You, you just... You, you really... Uh, threw it out of the park with that one, Daya. That's all I'll say. Um, I need to do a funny little stretch, because my, my back is beginning to kill me. My shoulder feels a lot better, but my back is not doing so hot. So, I'll, uh, do a stretch now, and we'll keep on going. Ugh. <sighs> All right. Oh. I was planning on going for a bit longer, but I, I've got to be honest, fellas. I've got to be honest, folks. I'm a bit tired. I want to maybe get a little bit of rest before I... Mm, I thought I could keep on going, but... But... I might try and wrap things up. Stretching because there's a massive wound on your chest. It doesn't actually hurt as much as it looks. It's, uh, sometimes it bleeds. But, we'll be alright. Uh, rest well, Hanchan. I'm still gonna be awake. How late is it in Australia? It just pa went past midnight. I think what I need to do is I just need to lay back and, like, on the couch or something. And I'll be alright. But, this would be a fine place to end it. For now. So I'm gonna save... Wait, hold the save slot. There we go. And let's take a look at who's, who's gaming right now. Who's gaming right now? There's Momo playing Lines of P. There's... Couple of people. Um, let me take a look here. What if I if I just browse? Category Beachber. Hmm. There's a lot of pe people doing coffin and Andy and Lele. I feel like I should play that game just to not miss out on it, but then I'll have to come later. Um. Oh, I know who I can raid into. Hold on. It's okay, Grandpa. We'll take you to the couch. Let's uh, go to another uh, person doing a... Oh, shoot. I got a... I got a DM from Artist. Oh, that's important. I, I got... Yeah. No, it's a good time to end it. I've got to... I've got to get my 100% attention to this one, fellas. Uh, we're going to go raid Corpse. Corpse is doing Pokemon Platinum. I think it's Brilliant Platinum. I don't know. But it's another Nintendo game that I, I assure you is probably very comfy. If it's a Pokemon game, it's probably comfy. So it's going to be the same sort of vibe, which is a good thing. Um, so let's just go give Raid your best. If you don't, you're you're a bad hairbrain and you're going to get the spray. All right. Hairbrains, I love you. I'll probably be back uh, again. Same time as now. So if you like this, uh, please do follow. It does help me out a lot. I'm getting closer and closer to 200 followers, and maybe once I do that, I'll have some funny little announcement announcements to do. And again, uh, give Corpse your best. Maybe I... How, do I have any funny... I don't have follower emotes. If I had follower emotes, we could do a funny little um, raid message, but I think we could just be rascally... No, no, <laughs> I'm not going to rip off of Clavia like that. Um, rabbit, rabbit, raid. There we go. That, that should do. That should do. If you don't have the, the emote there, that's all right. That's all right. Hairbrains. It's time for this rabbit to uh, hit the hay. Um, 
for now. It's bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.